Welcome everybody. Uh, happy, happy times. Uh, Ram, you guys, most of you guys know, I'm sure. Uh, if you're not familiar with Rico there, uh, Rico has been a real behind the scenes guy. Um, he's been, uh, we've been corresponding on Discord for quite some time. He gives me some very interesting uh, information. He is definitely a, an industrious uh, elf uh part of the elf army um yeah um so i want you to introduce yourself rico tell us a little bit about uh your involvement and or hatred for chili well i don't hate the guy i just strongly dislike him and i wish he would find a path to happiness that didn't involve uh, taking on law enforcement and public safety people I hope that uh, the next 180 days or, or less, or maybe more, if he has something happen in the next trial, he does work on impulse control. I think that's his issue. I saw that firsthand the other day. and Impulse control is definitely his issue. Um, I, I hope that uh, he takes some time while he's enjoying the Clark County three meals a day. Oh, uh, yeah. I kind, of, I, I kind of buried the lead there. Uh, Rico uh, was in the courtroom with Chili. Uh, um, so he watched all this go down live for which I'm incredibly, uh, jealous. Uh, but, uh, you, you want to go ahead and just sort of describe, uh, the, describe it for us. Sure. Uh, I just happened to find myself near that Lewis uh, Avenue, uh, courthouse Thought I'd stop in and take a tour and just happened to find myself in department eight and just happened to see, uh, <laughs> uh, some court proceedings that day and just looked over on the calendar and saw a name that looked familiar to me. So I thought I would stay for a little bit. Uh, a couple other observers came in and uh, they introduced themselves to him. One of them is uh, a YouTuber. Uh, I don't know if I should mention his name or not, but his, his monot moniker is uh, let's OTVO. He introduced himself to Chile and they have a little discussion and, after about an hour, uh, Chili's case was called, and Chili went up and uh, took a seat. And from there, it, it just devolved downhill, as you saw on the video. Yeah, you mentioned um, you were you you were feeding people in Discord some pictures for a minute um, until the judge ordered uh, everybody to hand over their phones, right? Um, yeah, it Chili was. Uh, uh yeah, I was. And somebody in Discord is feeding the information back. Chili took my picture. I'm not afraid to show my face. I just like to play that as part of the game with Chili and his supporters. And when they find out who I am, I'm, I'm not afraid. It's not a big deal to me. Um, he'll be surprised. It, it'll, it'll make it a little bit more of a challenge for him. Once he knows who I am, uh, the game will be amped up a little bit. But yeah, um, he took my picture and, uh, offered me peace and love and happiness in my life and, and uh yeah. it, it went on from there <laughs> <laughs> nice uh and then um uh what was your reaction there when uh when the sentence came down i mean it was it, i assume it was somewhat i mean I, i'm kind of curious about the atmosphere in the courtroom could you pick up on you know any vibes from anybody in there when that was going it on? Was a, it, was, it was really a surprise. Um, I, I won't give away a lot of my background, but uh, I was a bailiff uh, at the beginning of my career, and uh, I did not expect that at all. I, I have seen surprise sentences like that. I don't think anybody expected that. Um, and uh, I actually had to go back and ask the bailiff, did she say consecutive or concurrent? Because that's a big difference if you get consecutive or concurrent. And he, he kind of laughed and he said, yeah, uh, she said consecutive. And uh, so I knew he was looking at 180 days. And I'm not familiar with Nevada law, but it sounds like he's looking at uh, 75, 76% of a sentence. So he's looking at a little bit of a long haul. And even if with, a, with an appeal, an appeal apparently in Nevada is going to take a while. So uh, really, you could see him kind of slump. It, it was a surprise for him. Um, it was a surprise for everybody. Um, I... I had a momentary fleeting uh, moment of uh, almost feeling sorry for him. It went away pretty quickly, um, but uh, he did not walk in thinking he was going to get that. He was, he started out pretty cocky um, and uh, it, it, it was a shock for pretty much everybody. The attorney, definitely. You, you could see the attorney, Mr. Me, 
uh, was pretty deflated pretty rapidly. That was almost fun to watch. You never want to see a, an attorney lose for his client, but if anybody deserved it, it was that day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chili. Um, the attorney definitely seemed to be um, sort of floundering maybe at the end or um, there's a oh. theory. There's a all theory. the way through all the way through. He had many occasions where he could have um, he could have objected and he didn't. I mean, she led the witness along I and mean, she was it was crazy. Unclean hands was calling it by play by play. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, um, and sorry, I'm trying to figure out all this uh, uh, crap. I saw uh, Artie uh, um, donated uh, $4.99 earlier, and because I was screwing around with uh, um, uh, StreamYard here, I, I didn't. Um, I'm looking forward to trying. I'm trying to figure out how to put those up on the screen, everybody. So bear with me. I'm a little bit of a cherry with this stuff. Just click on the chat. I am, uh, but I'm, uh, there's a lot of chat, so I'm trying to scroll back and see it. But uh, thanks, yeah, Artie, for the fun. Yeah, if there's time at the end, we can um, maybe throw open a little open panel stuff. Um, but I definitely want Rico here to um, to uh, um, tell his his story. Now, um, it, it's okay for me to mention uh, what you sent me, Rico? Sure, yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the last video I did with uh, the documents uh, regarding Chile stalking, um, those were forwarded to me initially from Rico. Um, he really did an amazing job uh, um, digging those out, right? You, had, you had, that was not an easy thing. Am I right? Yeah, they're, they're so old that they're basically buried in the courthouse. You can't get them online. You physically have to go there and you have to kind of know where to where to go and how to ask. It's not impossible. It's just you physically have to go there and do it. And I don't mind. That's how much uh, discontent I have for the gentleman. I like that you're being very di diplomatic. <laughs> That's uh, very kind of you. It's, uh, yes, very he is. More, more kind than I would uh, tend to be. But... Um, Thank you, Diamond uh, Draco, for the two dollars there. I, th I think I got the the hang of this now. Um, so now I I haven't even really. Um, oh, there's Uncle Artie. Thank you, Uncle Artie, for the five bucks. Like I said, we'll try and throw the uh, chat open at the end, or the panel open if possible. Um, so you have a background in uh, kind of figuring out. You you said you were a bailiff, so you kind of have a inside track on how to how to find this stuff? I would say I have a pretty strong background in public safety throughout the West Coast. So I've kind of done a lot and still doing a lot. And if I don't know how to do it, I can figure out how to do it pretty quickly. Although I'm getting old, so a lot of the systems that are, the current stuff is hard for me to keep up with, but I've got a lot of connections that are still out there. So um, Sometimes I'll say stuff online and I, I'm 10 years behind the times because a lot of the systems are automated, but I basically understand a lot of how stuff is done. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and thank you, Unclean Hands, for the memberships. Thanks for gifting 10 Dickbag Patrol memberships. Uh, I'm going to try and work on some kind of interesting perks for those for now. I just put the cheapy 99 cent memberships up if you want to help me... Uh, keep uh, my nose above the shit line so to speak and thanks sarah marie for uh the uh five pounds cheek at chico i starting now <laughs> uh oh, i think she meant you rico how, how much did you have to stifle your laugh when the judge said starting now i actually i laughed afterwards i literally was in shock because i I, I didn't believe that that's what I heard. I, I, like I said, I almost felt bad for him because he was shocked. I laughed afterwards, um, but I, I was literally stunned because I, I didn't think that that's, I didn't think that that's what she said at first, um, but I could tell she was mad. Like I said, I was in there for, I was actually in there for a couple of hours beforehand. And she's actually a very nice judge. She's very fair. She's fair with defendants. 
Um, she listens to defendants beforehand. There were some arraignments. There was a very sensitive case that went on beforehand. And she's, she's fair to both sides. She's not, <clears throat> she's not overly unfair to defendants or law enforcement. Um, so uh, she, when she did what she did, it kind of came out of left field to me. Um, but not that it's unwarranted. When you look at the law and you understand what he did, um, he got what he deserved. And, and I don't say that just because of my disdain for him. Um, what he's doing and continues to do is a threat to law enforcement. If you're a peace officer and you're trying to do a traffic stop or you're doing whatever you're doing, yeah, he's yeah. a distraction. And so it, it's, it's not that he's videoing, it's that he's injecting himself into the environment. And uh, when you're a peace officer and you're stopping a car, and I don't care if it's a lady in the middle of a parking lot or in the middle of downtown LA, you need to be focused on that car. You don't need some five foot four runt coming up and disturbing you. Agreed. Um, thank you, P Petard's extra chromosome. I'm not quite sure what that means, but thanks for the uh, $1.99. Uh, specific gravity. Justice has finally clogged the chili hole. Well, yes, it has. Yeah, the uh, judge, she was, um, she split it. She could have given the maximum. She could have given it. This is, um, if you guys aren't su um, subscribed to um, Ram, are you able to put um, Patrick Darcy's link? there for people yeah. to click if you're not subscribed to him and we'll watch his he did a roundup of it afterwards um uh he's excellent he's a really smart lawyer i would not want to face off against him in court uh he had some interesting commentary about um michael me uh which wasn't mean to um diminish michael me as a lawyer or anything he's just you know he's coming from it he's a lawyer too so of course you're gonna you're gonna um you're going to have your own opinion and or approach to it. So uh, he wanted, uh, I think he was a little concerned that people would think, you know, he was trying to slam the guy and he, he wasn't. Um, Patrick is an incredibly uh, impartial and smart guy. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to him. Um, and uh, uh, screw you Spartan. Yes, I did learn to stream from stone vet. So that's, that's where the problems are coming from we can blame stone vet by the way stone vet if you're in here uh if he does show up somebody alert me because uh i have some questions about another i don't know if we're gonna play the video uh oh welcome mirrors is a new member and oh tom donovan gifted 10 more memberships thank you guys appreciate that fikaru oh yeah fikaru uh i will check out that website buddy um like Roo is an Australian uh, creation. He is. He was. He's going to run against Chile. Should Chile? Uh, well, I don't know how, what that does to your plans, buddy. I don't think he's going to be running for shit for a while. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask the chat. Uh, what do you guys think this does to Chile's chances for governorship? <laughs> <laughs> As if he ever had any to begin with. But uh, yeah. Uh, Whoa. Gia here. Hello, um, Gia. Thank you. Um, I'm working my way down. So, um, and again, I apologize uh, for any hiccups uh, or um, jerkiness with my stream of abilities. This is kind of a new thing for me. Uh, Art, thank you. 20. Holy shit. 20 dick bag. Per oh, man. We're on fire now. Love it. Let's see. Dave for 10 bucks. Next assignment is to dig up the true story of the no knock ghb raid yeah thoughts on that rico can that be done i think that's going to be hard i think that is truly filed away and uh, i think because he took a plea deal and in my opinion and the opinion of a lot of others uh there's a word that sometimes people use uh snitch um, but that's an opinion only i think when you do do that that gets uh, locked away and so that's going to be extra hard but people are working on that and when that does come out it's just going to validate um, what he did. Yeah, it generally disappears when that happens. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, bummer. But I think we can all agree. Uh, Chili's version of the story is pretty much bullshit. Um, and I, will, I will say this. He, he yeah. claims that Michael Moore personally raided him. Michael Moore was both a captain and a commander in LAPD in 2002. 
And I can tell you that captains and commanders for LAPD don't kick doors down. They don't have time. So, uh, again, it's just another chilly lie. There you go. Yeah, that's That's pretty political when you get that high in L.A. That's good info. Uh, Gia, bless you, darling. Thank you so much. Uh, Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't thank you enough. I do want to, I, I'm trying to, uh, there's a lot of you in here, man, almost 500 people. I cannot believe that. That is amazing. Thank you. Uh, so consequently, it's kind of making it difficult for me to keep up with the chat and stuff, but I did see, uh, Sean Hawkins is in here. Sean's a great guy. He's been a uh, uh, supporter, uh, of the channel. He used to share my videos. Um, and he mentioned that he, if anybody's gotten more fucked over by Chile, uh, than him good luck i mean yeah he chili copyright struck the fuck out of sean um so sean definitely ha- uh has one of the biggest gripes against that little weasel um because he's not a huge channel you know so it really fucked him up you know and it also just speaks to chili's pettiness because you know why go after you know a, a little channel you know like sean it just sucks um but yeah, thanks for being here, Sean. Well, um, he's a every, bully. Yeah, he's a bully. He just can't help it. Yeah, and he's he's First Amendment fan until anybody says the first fucking thing about him. Yeah. But, well, ask yourself this: all, all these people that are calling all of us bootlickers, why are you taking legal advice from a guy who has no home? His family has kicked him out. He has to rent little commercial buildings and live inside them, and that's who you're going to take legal advice from. And he can't even act normal in a courtroom. And this is a person you're going to put on a pedestal and take advice from. That defies logic. If that's who you want to listen to, you get what you deserve. Yep. There's a whole there's a whole channel uh, genre of them. Yeah. Michael, Michael Kaiser has a bunch of them as subs. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah. Uh, for sure. And uh, but but even Michael Kaiser has a home. Well, yeah, he has a home. <laughs> Yeah, he got inherited. Yeah, I can tell you uh, how he got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Safety driver, security guard, DBA, five bucks. I watched her Chili's video. Oh, Chili's video. Hope you need to get tased. Yeah, we never saw him get tased, huh? It's uh, a little bit of a bummer, but I'd say the arrest more than makes up for that. I mean, it, it's uh, like I said, uh, you know, I kind of feel like, um, you know, the, the DA or the prosecutor was, was sort of just trying to get Chili off off the off the menu, um, you know, maybe get him into a little anger management, which definitely wouldn't hurt him and stick him with a little fine. But they're not they're not invested in it the same way that we all are, you know, so the impact of this for us is joyous because we we've been following this and we know just what a kind of shitbag chili is in general. So even though he wasn't found guilty for all the other shitty things he's done, just him getting uh, such a stiff sentence for this sort of makes up for all the aggravation that he's, he's given all of us. Um, and I 60 mean, I, days, he faces it again. And he's already rattled that preliminary or the um, arraignment judge. He rattled her cage the other day. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't help himself. He, he really can't help can't himself. Help himself. Uh, I, li- I like the fact that Craig Hendry, you see, you know, he was, uh, Chili was just getting into the fundraising, uh, just getting the momentum going again. What he had, like three of them in two weeks. <laughs> and Craig Henry was one of them. Him and Craig had gotten pretty tight, but I noticed Craig's been scrambling around trying to get uh, trying to get his channel rolling. Yeah, around. yeah, I yeah. Uh, Lawrence Gittery for five bucks. Uh, Chili told the judge he hated all law enforcement. She threw the book at him. Yeah, well, he he taunted her in, in advance though. We watched it. I mean, he you know that whole crap he did even on the Zoom, even though it wasn't that major, it, he he was still getting under her skin, which he does. But he really, he really that that the um, the judge that did the arraignment the day prior to that, he really rattled her. You know, she got she got pretty upset with him. Yeah, he's good at that. Uh, he excels at that. 
Yes, he does. Um, but he's so, 30 years he's been teaching MMA, so he's got himself covered while he's in jail. <laughs> well, yeah. this is what this is what happened because he stayed in one place too long. The the thing that's been saving him up until now is he's been floating around. And now yes. he stayed in one place too long, and, and now it's gonna catch up to him. Absolutely yep. brilliant point. Yes, he he's managed to just uh slide around. Um but you he know, can't drive through Ohio. He can't drive through Missouri. He can't drive through Oklahoma. He can't go to Boston. <laughs> well, technically, technically, uh, he doesn't drive. The car drives for him. Don't right. ever forget no, that. No, that's right. That's right. That's the whole reason Dick Bag even exists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it was my first video, too. My first video was a chili video. I mean, it, yeah. yeah um, speaking of, oh, well. True to our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all I could say about the driving thing, God, I can't say anything about it, but let me just say there might be some additional consequences coming Chili's way because of that uh, live streaming shit. You guys might, you'll find out about it eventually, but I just can't say anything. Right. Well, because it's civil. And so you just got to, yeah, know, but, tip but toe, uh, tiptoe through the tulips. But he, he certainly has a lot more problems now. Now, something I wanted to uh, wear, uh, I don't have any wrenches, uh, um, DP. I figure we're all adults in here. And um, goddamn, I am really overwhelmed, um, guys. There's like over 500 people in here. So, I am trying to keep up with the comments and everything as best I can and keep things moving forward. Um, it's a little difficult, but uh, thank you all for, for being in here and Celine driver dollar 99. When will we hear oh, what AI chili thinks about all this? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, I sent him on, I remember my, uh, one of my recent videos, I said I, I had to do something nice for AI chili cause he was seeming a little stressed uh recently um so i sent him on a little virtual vacation but he did uh send me a photo from his vacation and i will uh i'll share that with you guys in a in a couple minutes um so he has as uh ramp mentioned he, he's got this other um the same exact charges um he's got that for may 1st he will not be able to weasel out of going to that Nope. Um, being no, as no he's calling guest, in sick. Yeah, being as he's a guest as he, and that's the other thing about the judge. You know, I I know she was aware, at least I think she was aware that he lied lied about being uh, sick on that last one. Um, I don't know. I think she she might have looked into him just a little bit. The thing is, it's really hard to. Uh, send information like that directly to a judge. So you don't know how much they know or don't know, but she certainly seemed to uh, uh, be aware of what he was about. Let's put it that way. You know, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to tell everybody that's listening and all the people that are calling us bootlickers. Uh, here's a hard reality that you, you can complain all you want. The reality is when you walk into a courtroom, you better respect the judge. That is their office. And when you call their bailiff names and when you nod your head and you put your, your thumb up to a judge, when that gets appealed and that goes all the way up, even to the Supreme Court, you go to the Supreme Court, there's no camera in there. You're expected to act professional. That's why when you, when you get held for contempt, it's almost impossible to appeal a contempt hearing because that is the judge's office. So when you act up in there, all those kinds of things are almost automatically going to be upheld. So you just have to remember whether you like our court system or not, you better act like a grown up in there because that court system is a self fulfilling process prophecy of how to act like a grown up. Yeah. And that uh, is definitely uh, Chile's main Achilles heel. As you said before, Rico, and as I've said in several videos, including my last one, impulse control is not the man's forte um he and and i you know i i say it it sounds like i might be joking in my videos but i am 100 percent serious every time i say chili really needs mental help like he's got some deep-seated <laughs> issues 
at, uh, I mean, he needs some intense therapy. Um, do we know how his supporters are doing now? Okay. Funny. You mentioned that Judy. Uh, thanks for the dollar 99. Um, he, a couple things. So I was watching his channel, uh, closely. If you guys remember Colin, uh, whenever Chile would go to jail, uh, previously, you know, I'm, um, he would post on Chile's community tab that, Hey, uh, Chili's okay. He's Charlie's fine, whatever. So let me see if I can, um, pull this stupid thing up here. Uh, Chili's last, uh, post. Let's see if I can, uh, I have the YouTube app on my uh, laptop, but it seems to be kind of taking a dump. So, um, I'm going to see if I can pull this up here. Give me a second. Bear with me. And also, I probably have too many tabs open. Um, thanks, Terry, uh, for the five gift dick bag patrol memberships. Let me see if I can find it. Video share screen. Uh, delete laws, YouTube. Here we go. So this is his last community post, right? Uh, or excuse me, this is not his last one. This, yeah, here we go. This was the one that I was waiting for 15 hours ago. Chili is, can you guys all see that by the way? Is that working as expected? Is it on the screen? Yeah, okay. So uh, it says Chili is fine. Charlie Bear is fine. Thanks to those putting money on his commissary. Well, isn't that sweet? Uh, Chili does not need funds. If you want to help out, we still need to raise money for Press with Rancor. And then it has the GoFundMe link for Press with Rancor. It says $2,500 goal, but ignore that, of course. Uh, don't give more than you can. Thank you. And then it's signed, not Chili. Not anybody specific, just not Chili which I, I found strange. And then, of course, we don't stop. Um, and the engagement on the post, uh, he's got 500 likes on it and 350 comments. Now, for a guy with a half a million subs, that's pretty lame. Um, but it's strange that it's not uh, a person, because uh, Ram and I were debating whether or not uh, he was going to like his, cause his, his, he just had that falling out with Colin. Right. And, um, the new guy, uh, whoever that is, James, I think is his name. Am I right? Uh, hasn't been there that long. So we were like, is he gonna just be like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. This guy's in jail. This isn't going to go well. Um, uh, so we were kind of curious as to what was going to happen. So I was watching his community tab closely. Um, doesn't seem like a whole lot of support. About half of those comments in there have got to be just people, you know, gloating or, you know, um, about, uh, or you know, from our side of the fence. Um, I think this uh, might just be the end of his little delete laws adventures. Um, because his channel, I think is going to fall off a, a cliff pretty, um, quickly. Now, the other thing about that is, uh, yeah, thanks. Art. two bucks. I sell legal documents. Yeah. He, um, and if we have time, we can go over the, the um, chili testimony again. That would be fun. Um, yeah, I sell legal documents. That is how much fun would it have been to question, see him get questioned about that? by the prosecutors like you're a constitutional law scholar, huh? Well, let's see some evidence of that. And also he also told the judge, if you notice, she said, well, you make money off of your YouTube videos. And then he just, he, he didn't say, no, I don't, but he, he just said, well, I make money of selling legal documents. So that was, if not an outright lie, it was pretty goddamn close. And thanks Blackheart. Uh, Blackheart's one of the first people I started uh, watching when I got on here. So always good to have you here, buddy. Thank you for the $2. And let me see. 
I'm going to share with you guys something really fun, which I don't know if you guys have seen yet. But, and I do promise I will get uh, smoother with all this screen sharing shit and all that stuff. In While the you're future. doing that, let me, let, me, let me say, have this been yeah. a jury trial? Uh, his, I'll give him some credit that uh, Chili's testimony was was kind of smooth, but it's all it's all rehearsed. It's the same thing he says over and over and over. So in front of a jury, that would have gone okay. But when he got cross-examined in front of a jury, it would have been horrible. They would have pushed his buttons. So it was smart for them to do a, a trial in front of the judge and have a bench trial. But if he ever has a jury trial, it's going to go horrible. He's going to do good when he gives his little feel about who he is and what he does. But when they cross-examine him, it's going to be horrible. And, and and I will definitely come back and watch that. And a lot of people should watch that because he has no impulse control and and can't stop himself. So when you watch when you watch what he's when you watch his spiel about what he does, it's actually kind of compelling. And it and it and I started to kind of worry a little bit. Then I realized, oh wait, it's a bench trial. No big deal. The judge is going to see right through that. Wow, uh, uh, there are like six hundred and twenty people in here. Holy fuck! Thank you guys so much. This is uh, awesome to have you guys all in here. And I'm, I'm again, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Uh, DK's here. What's up, buddy? Uh, we're going to do a live stream at some point. He, I know he's really busy right now, but that'll be fun. Um, but I just want to show you guys something else here real quick. Uh, um, this is DeleteLaws.com as of today. You guys all see that? Uh-oh. What happened? Chili's website went bye-bye too. So that, is, no trifolds, uh, no uh, mer whatever other merch, which, and the other thing that's going to kill him just being in jail is um, uh, he's got to make a shit ton of money off of um, his streams, you know, with super chats and shit like that. I mean, I, I guess he does okay with it. Um, I don't really pay attention to that, but he's got to be making some money off of that, right? Well, we so speculated that that, that uh, his backers would pull the plug on it. There was going to one or two things was going to happen. They were going to turn it over to his new editors, or they were going to pull the plug. I'm sure that I'm sure they're so disgusted with this. They just said that now it's time, you know, pull the yeah. plug on all of it. Maybe I don't know. I, I, you know, there's Jeff Lloyd and David Conan, and I don't know what their relationship is with you. I mean, it's pretty long term, but I, I don't know any of that. So I couldn't say if like, well, I think this kind of yeah. tells the story a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Have, uh, you, have you seen well, Jeff Lloyd and his appearance in the delete laws videos? Yeah. I don't think Jeff Lloyd is disgusted by much of anything. Has yeah. He allowed Jeff, himself to appear like that. He's not disgusted yeah, by anything. Yeah. Now I don't want to, uh, I don't want to play any of Chili's videos on here. Uh, even though I don't, I don't know. Just, because I don't, but uh, also in one of the videos we looked at uh, today, Rico. Um, yeah. Jeff Lloyd is in, if you go back about two years ago on the Chili's channel, you can find a video of Jeff Lloyd in the video. It's called like BTS of, he was shooting some pilot called delete laws and Jeff funded it. Uh, Chili mentions in that video that Jeff gave him like a hundred grand or something like that. So um Jeff, from my impression, is kind of an idiot with a lot of money. That might not be fair, but that's the sort of general um, vibe I've got from what um, people have told me. And if he can give Chile a hundred grand, then, you know, who knows? Well, money uh, make you do things. Yeah. Um, thank you, Subar. Uh, one of his followers are in the chat. Well, <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know what to tell you, dude. Uh, but um, yeah, so that's it. DeleteLaws.com. I'm, I'm, this all could, could be a function of his new guy not knowing how to just like operate his website. And, you know, right, Rico? Like he could have just pulled the plug on the whole thing accidentally or, uh, you know, just um, 
Uh, you know, it's, just, it's the best thing for the buyer. I mean, you don't want to turn out a bad product. So uh, it's the best investment for people out there is to buy what is being sold right now. And that's nothing. Right. I agree. Um, yeah. Uh, and I'm well said. So between the lack of trifold and one a card sales and uh, lack of um, because what it what realistically is the channel going to be between now and the time Chile gets out of the joint? Uh, you know, are they going to re-edit um, old shit and just keep putting it up? I don't think even his followers will put up for, with that for very long, you know? Um, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I, uh, I think that he lives, he lives in a different world than the rest of us. And I think, I think that when we look at him and we try and and predict how he, I, I think if any of us look back and think, well, he would never do that, he would never do this. Every single one of us has been shocked at what he's done now. Well, he's a fucking sociopath. I mean, yes. how can you predict anything? Yes, you know, he's, a he's, narcissistic sociopath. A narcissistic sociopath. That's right. I mean, we've been watching him for. I've been watching him for three years closely, and I, you know, he. You can't predict what the hell's going to happen. I just, I just truly believe with all that getting shut down, it was th the powers that be said that's it. It's time, done, done. But, yeah. but remember, he, ha he hasn't lost anything. It's not like he he lost a house or. You have to remember, all the rest of us have something to lose when we go to jail. He's lost nothing. He lost a little rental commercial building again, and that's it. He's still got a little car park somewhere. He can come out of jail and start up again because he's lost nothing. The rest of us, we go to jail, we lose, we lose a house, we lose a well, relationship, I don't we think lose he can money. Do it on, I don't think he can do it on his own. He can do it with backing, but I don't think he can do it on his own. And YouTube won't let his channel sit stagnant anyway, so it's just may as well shut it down. Yeah, well, I mean, he is. He will. I believe he'll lose the channel. Uh, oh, and that, yeah, and channel. with with that, that's his largest platform. And without a camera in front of him, Chili. Yeah, he, he can't go on TikTok. They've already thrown him out. Yeah, you know? honestly, I think that's what's going to bother him most about the prison time is that he doesn't have an audience. You know, and the yeah. audience that he's got, he they aren't going to want to. They're not going to want to listen to his horse shit. Um, Chili hates transparency. Uh, Jose can't stand criticism. That's why he's in now. Yeah, he just always has to. Yeah, he cannot help himself. He needs. Uh, he needs help, um, mental help. Uh, and yeah, Liz, uh, Charlie is free for him for, for months, and that's probably the best thing for Charlie. He, he Chili is definitely not a what I refer to as a quality pet owner. Uh, did you, uh, that, did, that to me, and I, I'm not even a, a, a small dog lover. They don't like me because I'm so tall. But uh -oh. to me, imagine imagine you're, <laughs> you're a little dog sitting in the passenger seat and your owner just starts randomly screaming and yelling all the time for no apparent reason. Imagine your life like that or you're sitting in some little commercial building and your owner just starts screaming and yelling into the TV all the time at all hours. That, that's a miserable life. Yeah, I want to know, I want to know more like. about you being tall and small dogs. I have the same issue. I don't have any problem <laughs> with big dogs. The small dogs are always nipping at my feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they hate me. They hate me. <laughs> the little That's ones funny. hate me, too. Every chihuahua I come across, the some bitch bites me. You all need to carry bacon in your pockets. Bacon, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, safety yeah, turn, drivers. Then, then it would turn blue. <laughs> Bad joke. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to rethink my co-host uh, co-host choice here. I think any more dad jokes like that. Um, oh wait a minute now! Oh this wait is, a minute! This is yeah. debt. This is debt, my friend. <laughs> 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 I'm paying off debt. Oh uh, <laughs> no no! Yeah. Uh, safety driver, security guard, DBA, uh, five bucks, four ninety nine, five bucks, whatever. Uh, speaking of BS, you should cover police tube. Uh, don't know anything about them. Uh, I can look into them for sure. I don't know. Uh, there is a guy I want to get to. Uh, if everybody can remind me before we leave, Michael Ellers. He's a lawyer. He covered uh, Chili's um, trial yesterday. Um, my first impression is really shitty lawyer. Um, 
Um, I, again, I, I would love to show his video, but I just don't know how strikey he is. So um, I won't, but um, I will put the link if anybody wants to go kind of check it out. Uh, and I was going to have my, he's incredibly, he's incredibly misinformed. And I, I don't even need to say my opinion. He's, he's so incredibly wrong on stuff. It's laughable. Yeah, it didn't. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm hesitant. I, I have uh, somebody I run things by um, you um, in these kind of situations that knows a lot more about it than me and is a lot smarter than me. But um, <laughs> Uh, welcome Hannibal, but also that's funny as shit. Flash, flash sale trifolds, a hundred percent off. You got it. Thank you, uh, Sandy's Almanac. Al Al A Anime M M a maniac. Oh, Sandy's a maniac. Boy, I gotta get my go back for another vision exam. Um, yeah, yeah. No more trifolds. And uh, Chili hates transparency. Chili's. Oh, dirty word. Uh, dick liquor's crying. Corruption is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are, what are you going to do? It's kind of like if you're that dumb that you think that this guy is uh, any kind of expert on anything except bullshit. I, don't, I really don't know what to tell you. And that was getting back to that Michael Ellers guy. Um, I mean, if you're a lawyer, how can you not look deeper into this guy before you start supporting him because i mean just a a quick glance at any one of chili's videos will tell you that he's he's not to be trusted to put it mildly um yeah jeff fucking lloyd that's right that's what he calls himself um uh and for 4.99 um uh, uh david todd someone needs to start a foia of video from uh from the Clark County detention center of Chili's process. Yeah. I wonder if they made him put his, uh, uh, finger, you know, uh, lift up his balls and put his fingers in his mouth again. Maybe we can, maybe we can lobby <laughs> a, maybe we can lobby a and E and they'll go back in with uh, 60 days in. Yeah, maybe, uh, uh, we watched a little bit of that. If you guys haven't, uh, we can't play it on the channel tonight because no, we will get, get struck. We, we will get struck. But A and E does have a sixty days in uh, show. You can find it on YouTube where uh, the show, the premise of the show, is where they put plants into a jail, and um, then they have secret cameras recording the interactions with the prisoners and stuff like that. And uh, oh, it doesn't look like Chili's going to be having any fun whatsoever a, in Clark County. That's a rough. That's a rough jail. It's pretty rough. Uh, and PDOX, by the way, God bless PDOX. If you guys have not been over to his website, it is fucking amazing. He's got everything on Chile. Yeah, uh, uh, speaking of that, Michael Ellers, the l genius lawyer, could have just gone over to PDOX and pulled up all the shit on Chile and been like, nope. Um, that Heller gun guy, too. I don't know what uh, I don't know what will become of his uh, association with Chile now that uh, I did send Heller a, a warning about Chili, so it's not like uh, he didn't know. Um, it, it's unbelievable that anybody would get involved with him, but hey, the elephant in the room is always that there's a lot of dumbass people out there, right? Um, for, the, for five pounds, uh, no fresh content will be the death of his channel as a source of income. Absolutely. I think this will be the end of the delete laws empire as we know it for sure. My only question is, will he get uh, any sense uh, knocked into him, either by the inmates or otherwise, by this little uh, experience? Um, I kind of lean towards no. I he'll think he'll be an ISO. Yeah, maybe could be. Um, yeah, he'll end uh, up an ISO. Yes, woot woot. Th thank you, Danny. By the way, Danny, superstar. Uh, woot woot Chapito went bye bye. Yes, he did go bye bye. Um, and again, um, he is likely facing even more time than the six months because he's got the exact same charges uh, pending. We, that was the arraignment the other day, and um, um, you know, additional jail time is likely from everything that I am told. 
Uh, and yes, thank you, Danny, for another two bucks. Hit the thumbs up, support the channel. Definitely. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, he's, um, oh, bye Kelly. Um, glad, glad to be live. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I can't believe there's like 650 people in here, man. You guys are fucking awesome. Um, and again, uh, big thanks to Rico, uh, for, if you guys knew all the behind the scenes stuff, this guy is, is done, uh, without any real, any credit, uh, whatsoever. Um, just out of the goodness of his heart and, um, you know, his, his conscience, I guess. Um, so happy that he, uh, came on board tonight. That's awesome. And there's Ram, but who cares? Right. Um, waiting. Here's, here's my prediction on the, yeah, go ahead. the next set of charges. I, I don't know how Nevada works, but I would suspect it's the same and I don't want to burst everybody's bubble, but but this is what I bet happens if he's smart, but he's not. So I hope this is how it works. I hope that he doesn't take a plea. The smart thing to do is take the plea and then they, they lay your sentence over it. So let's say he gets another 60 days or 90 days. They just lay that concurrent over the time they're already doing. He's not smart. So he goes to trial and he fights it and he that gets laid out for another couple months. So if you think that he gets another 180 days, that doesn't get tacked on to the end of what he's doing now. That would just be concurrent with what he's doing in California and some of the other states I've worked around. I think Nevada is a little bit different, but if he's smart, he walks into court as soon as possible, takes a plea and starts doing that time right now so that it's concurrent. But I don't think he's that smart. And even if an attorney told him to do it, he wouldn't do it. Well, he wouldn't do it. I felt sorry for his attorney, me. You know, and in that arraignment the other day, she specifically stated, she specifically stated that, what you're saying. that Exactly. Be, I mean, in the arraignment, they pretty well get him to understand what the charges are and what the consequences are. And the consequences are, is he could be sentenced exactly the same way he was sentenced in this they could they could lay it on as a concurrent but that, that that's going to be up to a trial judge but you're right if an attorney could get through to his head to shut up and sit down which we know won't happen i mean he i felt so, sorry for michael Meese because you're sitting in the courtroom and we saw it on 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 the video he was in Meese's ear the whole time though yeah. that, that, that wasn't Meese running that that was that was chili running that and oh exactly. yeah yeah you could see him leaning over and oh yeah him. and there were so many times that me could i mean that prosecuting attorney led that cop on so many questions objection leading the way you know a it, absolutely there uh, was Pat, tw 20 yeah. or 30 occasions yeah um patrick darcy again we'll we'll watch that video uh he pointed that out um and also uh, uh tara Keith, thank you for the uh Mark of the Beast there. Much appreciated. 666. Thanks, buddy. I'm trying to um, keep up with these. It's a little... Uh, and I'm trying to keep up with the chat as best I can. I had... This is beyond my wildest expectations to have this many of y'all in here. So um, I was not prepared. But... Um, so... Chile... Um, I don't know if a jury trial would help him or not. Um, it, it, there's a possibility because all you need is like one, right? One juror to kind of side with him to throw the balance. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, it's, it's a tough call. Um, but again, he just, he won't do anything, even if it's his best interest. Now, the, the thing that the judge struck down, the, um, the, uh, request to the standby counsel thing. Um, Chile, uh, and that might be Michael Me might just not have been prepared to, to argue the whole case. He might not have been expecting that. He might not have been prepared to sort of uh, argue whatever Chile was planning to argue, and he was just kind of uh, doing it as best he could on the fly, you know. He because he, like I said, he didn't seem completely comfortable he didn't seem like he was uh he had a uh, you know it seemed like he was he was freestyling a little bit there uh, floundering a little bit again my opinion not a lawyer so take that for what it is um and thank you paul perry yes tyrants yes 
they're all tyrants, aren't they? But yeah, um, unbelievable him calling him nodding his head in agreement in uh, about the uh, the pig here's, comment, right? Here's one, the here's one yeah. other tidbit that that I didn't mention before, and I, I was still in my mindset of where I started in my previous career, where I was never supposed to. I was never supposed to divulge what I overheard, but I, that was 30 years ago. When when me came in, he walked over to Chile and he said, you were supposed to meet me in my office. So Chile had been sitting there for an hour. So looking back, now I realize what had happened. Chile was supposed to meet me at the office and they should have talked for an hour beforehand. So Chile double screwed himself by not meeting me beforehand and talking about their their trial strategy. Uh, that's that, interesting. That, that ah. just occurred to me. And, I, and I've been keeping that in my head because I, I just keep going back to the things that you overhear as a bailiff that you're not, you hear, you hear, you hear attorneys talk to their clients and you're, you're supposed to be neutral, right? You're not there as a peace officer because you're representing the judge. You're not representing the, the cop who's testifying. Does that make sense? You're so, officer so, of the court. Yeah. So defendants and, and attorneys talk and you overhear it and you, you don't go running to the, to the DA. You're just supposed to be neutral. So me came in, he went over to Chile and he said, you were supposed to be at my office. You, my mouth is dry. You were supposed to be at my office. Chile screwed himself by not going to the office first. So Chile yeah, sat Chile, there for an Chile hour. And told the judge, he goes, I'm talking to my attorney on the phone. When she said, give your phone, turn your phone off. Remember? So I, I, I'm just, I just had that epiphany right now. So Chile should have gone to the office, talked to me for at least an hour beforehand about what they were going to do. Chile screwed himself by not having a, a meeting about <laughs> trial strategy. So I feel even less less bad for him. There's still like a, a 1% of me that, that like trying to be human tries to feel sorry for him. Well, let's and work time, on that 1%. I, I know, but – and he just continues to just just shoot himself from the foot every chance he gets. So, yeah, that just came to me. So you got an exclusive right there. Yeah, the guy, uh, nice. he dies for his own mother. He, he's more of a dumbass than I even realized. That is, yeah, because uh, that makes that makes sense now. Because the judge, when he was in the gallery, he stood up with his phone. He said, "I'm I'm talking to my my attorney, Your Honor." And yeah, she goes, "So we're going to wait on your attorney." What what a dick leg! Yeah, I mean, so if you were if you were going for a murder trial, you would meet with your attorney for a couple couple <laughs> weeks in advance, right? I, so if you're going there. in for a little misdemeanor, you go in for an hour or two beforehand and you talk. He didn't do that because. He thinks he's smarter than everybody. Yes, this is what you get. Smarter than everybody. That's the well, yeah, and especially if cl clearly he was trying to turn it into a First Amendment thing and uh, platform for that. I mean, if you're gonna do something like that and uh, so much as hinging on it, um, you'd think you'd want to have your ducks in a row. But the problem is, chill, and um, I'm sure uh, you guys or where Chile just doesn't seem to plan long-term very well. You know, he, he uh, starts things, never finishes them. There's a long list of uh, people he's sort of uh, tried to uh, assist, and then he just bails out on them. You know, Tina Slay comes to mind. Uh, uh, what's that jag off? Dollar hide. Um, you know, okay. the, the list right. is endless. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, he, he long-term strategy is not his. Deborah I I, Rogers. Of course she's right. With him, though. She's she, she was right there to the end. Right. And Colin, I think Colin's in here. Um, he can verify this. Uh, Chile tried to, I mean, his, his, <laughs> uh, some of you may have heard this. I'll try and tell it really quickly, but Chile essentially tried to trap me into copyright strike by he's uh somebody made a comment on one of my videos hey i got this uh this uh video you know behind the scenes video chili did of you uh you know where he's he talking shit about you uh, i'll send it to you i was like yeah sure go ahead send it to me so i get this email and then it's it's literally starts with you guys watch ever watch a dvd you know that FBI warning that comes up in the front of it? Like, do not, right. uh, do, do not. Just... <laughs> so it's got that, which I, that was the first thing I was like, what the fuck is this? If somebody's sending me a clip of Chile, why would they put this in front of it? And then it's just him, you know, off, you know, prior to his stream, just sort of saying, oh, that dick bag patrol. He's... 
well, let me do my that dick bag patrol. He's what a jerk. I'm gonna sue him. I hate him. Blah blah blah. blah. And then, um, uh, that was it. It was innocuous, you know, it wasn't even anything that like would have been good enough for me to make a video on, you know what I mean? I was just like, this smells really fishy. So, oh, I, so, and I know, Sorry. Colin, I, I don't mean to throw you under the bus here, buddy, but I did a reverse search on the email that sent it me the video and it was you well, your your name came up colin cunningham and i was like i think that's chili's producer so i knew right then and there it was just a total setup um but at any rate um yeah that's the level of like strategy chili has right it's like elmer fudd with the box <laughs> and the stick and the carrot under it uh yeah so anyway uh He's a fucking idiot. Um, you you just reminded me of something when when he got into the argument with the bailiff beforehand, before court started, before all the cameras are rolling. He's got his feet up on the bench in front of him, and the bailiff comes over and asks him to put his feet down. And they got into the longest, stupidest argument ever. And when Chili was calling him names, his voice kind of changes, and he called him every name you could ever imagine. But when he called him the names. Every time he would say, he would be like, you're a cocksucker. He would like throw the, throw the name, like, like a little kid. Right. Wow. Really? That's well, uh, not surprising. Um, throwing, throwing bad words. But it, it, it just went on and on and on. Was it that was, while the other, creepy. is that while the other preliminary hearings were going on and stuff and the other trials? No, the no that, that was all over, and we were waiting for the judge to come out. Uh, okay, so I was going to say, well, the judge must not have been in the courtroom. No, no. But and it was just the, weird. And, and... I also just want to clear up, uh, Colin, uh, no animosity towards you, buddy. I, 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 you know, Chile probably directed you to all that, and whatever. It's, it's not a big deal. I'm not, I well, Colin, to... Colin has done a lot of things since then that, where he's tried to make amends. So. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, I don't have any. I don't have harbor anything against you, buddy. Uh, Police tube made over a thousand Jeremy Dewitt videos. Uh, Roland Deep says for a dollar ninety nine. again, I'm not familiar with them. One could only hope they were negative towards Dewitt because he's a complete piece of shit. But uh, there's that. And then um, um, sixty five CJ five is is that a Jeep reference there? I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'm assuming it is. Uh, who had to go pack up Chili's blow up dolls and gimp gear? Yeah, hopefully, uh, that's that's definitely not a uh, if I was his new producer and I got ordered to uh go pack up Chili stuff, I'd probably quit on the spot. I could say that. Um, so R Rico, speaking of that, do you are you you're familiar with the little office space Chili was renting or in Vegas, right? Yes, it's right. uh. He, he's definitely no longer there. I just happened to be driving by randomly, just happened to be in the area. Gotcha. And there's some very lovely ladies that have a, a, a wig weave business at the end of the, the row of buildings he was in. And uh, they were very happy that he's no longer there. So they, they definitely confirmed he's not there. Chili even hey, piss, pissing off the wig weave community. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. But thanks, uh, CJ. Uh, CJ five for the 10 bucks. Uh, yeah. Um, somebody, uh, sent me something, um, regarding that. Uh, I think the building owners were made aware that Chile was kind of squat cause it's a commercial, uh, storefront. Right. So, uh, he definitely was not supposed to be living there. I think, uh, somebody definitely made the, uh, it was not me. Yeah, some something. Somebody sent uh, the Las Vegas code enforcement a complaint that Chili was living in there and then CC the building owner so that the building owner kind of had to act on it because the building owner knew that um, the Las Vegas code enforcement knew about it. So there was no way for the building owner to allow that to continue. Unless, ah. you're, a, unless you're a Chinese restaurant. Uh, was that a racist comment, Ram? No, it's just it, it's <laughs> a, a local story. That's all. Oh, gotcha. We just got uh, through dealing with it here. I see. Well, thanks for uh, making a reference nobody would understand. 
Yep. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. There's two people. Uh, here. It looks like this is this looks like this is what a Chili's buddy's there. Yeah. yeah. Some somebody might have also called or uh, dropped the same email to the Las Vegas Humane Society and Animal Control, complaining that an animal was being left in there. Oh well, yeah. Now that you know that is, uh, and that wouldn't be a first. That's every about huma it. every humane society wherever he's he's laid his head down has gotten emails from me, <laughs> just because I I appreciate his dog more than I appreciate him. Yeah, I'll go to bat for an animal every single time. Before, Absolutely, uh, they don't have, they have no choice before a person. Uh, if you and, and that's another. thing thing uh um he did go after az jeep girls animal rescue his 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 fucking yeah. dickhead Apple. him Apple. and his dickhead gang so whatever you think of az jeep girl fuck you chili for doing that yeah i mean how fucking low i mean what are you gonna fucking burn down an orphanage next i mean fuck you dude and that was her oh. life i mean she, she yeah she adored what she did and yeah man, does, uh, what she does yeah. Um, so, yeah. What a dick. Um, well, if, uh, if it makes her feel better, somebody also sent PETA, the local PETA chapter, um, specific uh, specific links of Charlie being possibly thrown around. And now PETA has asked for continuing links of whatever he does in the future. So PETA is now watching him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Um, I just want a, a radiant smile. Yeah. Well, uh, uh Better than what chili might be licking. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> and uh project. Oh, that's uh that's Colin right there. Hey buddy. Um five bucks says I foiled his jail phone calls and body cam of his jail intake. Well, rock on, buddy. Good. We're looking forward to uh we're looking forward to seeing that. Uh we'll yes, definitely sh definitely share those out when when you get a hold of them. Let me know. Um He's been sending me a, uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Another five bucks. I also got his website taken down by copyright striking him for the trifold and cup cards. Huh? Is that why uh, it's now? Huh? Okay. We're going to need more detail yeah. on that. Yep. For sure. Um, yeah. Email, definitely email me, uh, Colin. Um, and maybe if there's time at, uh, at the end here, we can, uh, we can have you up and you can tell us all about that. Um, uh, yeah. Wow. So yeah, I, I think this is the end of uh, a chili. Uh, how do you guys feel about watching um, a little bit of Pat Darcy's uh, video? What do we think chat? Uh, we will get to see his, his arrest again. So there's that in the video. Uh, he definitely won't pass the bar now. Was he ever going to pass the bar ceremony? Thanks for the two pounds there. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's fucked. He is really well and fucked. And he's also on the hook for some legal fees, by the way. Um, he's put his name to some of those contracts with those lawyers that he's uh, uh, trying to secure for other people. What was it? Wanda mice or something like that. And I guess what was the name on his little, uh, on his little stupid, um, it was shit. Sorry. Uh, ah, shit. God damn it. Sorry guys. Give me one second. Going back to his. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's another tab. Sorry. Let's see. Uh, press with rancor. So, um, I believe he's going to be on the hook for some legal fees. Additionally, any lawsuits that he has going. Uh, yeah, I see you, Jerry. Yeah, Will Ferrell is very funny. Yes. Um, uh, he, he's not going to be able to uh, deal with any lawsuits that he's got going from jail. So that's going to hurt him, including the one that we found out. Rico and I found out about yesterday that I just can't say anything about. But man, oh, man. If what I think is going to happen happens, it's going to be incredibly satisfying. I'll just say that for now. Um, and uh, John Broders 
the situation will make Chile worse than he already is. It's fuel for more hate. Just my opinion. Yeah, well, that's the big question, you know. Will he? I tend to lean towards that he's not going to learn a fucking thing from this. I think maybe this is a guess. Yes, he's not a likable person, Colin. Um, he might get out, go lay low for a while with, a, with his mom or something like that until he comes up with a new grift. The analogy I always use is uh, TV preachers, right? Uh, fucking Jim Baker, uh, Peter Popoff, any of those guys like that. They scam. They finally get busted for it. They go to jail. They come back out. Nothing's changed. They start up again. Uh, maybe they aren't at the heights they were before, but they they just don't. That That's all they know is grifting. So... And, and Chili's sincerely until he gets some real mental help, um, he's not he's not going to change, right? So um, now I, I you know I told the story about the guy in in the Navy in my squadron that was a real loudmouth kind of annoying person like Chili, and then he went to a shipyard for a month and he he got his ass kicked hard, and after that he was sort of a changed guy. He wasn't as obnox uh, you know, obnoxious anymore. He wasn't didn't mouth off to people because he learned mouthing off can uh, end up, get you a, a knuckle sandwich. Um, but that said, um, you know, I don't know. I think Chili's problems run way too deep uh, for this to, to change him. I could be I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I well, feel that's, like you're. you're you're right, and that's the message for the people, like the people that are in the chat that are here to to defend Chile. It's admirable that you've come here and you care about Chile, but if you really cared about Chile, you would be worried about his mental health, and you would be in Chile's chat asking him to get the help that he needs instead of coming here and trying to derail the chat that is full of people who recognize that Chile has mental health problems. And if you're going to come in here and not recognize that Chile has mental health problems, then you need to look at yourself because you have mental health problems. If you can't see that Chile has some serious and significant problems and Chile is a threat to the public safety of the Western United States and everywhere else that he goes. So turn around and look at yourself and recognize that you are a threat almost as bad as Chile if you're going to come in here and threaten and defend him. Yeah, he's not a he's not a well woman. Um, uh, thank you, John, for the uh, twenty bucks and Diamond Draco for two bucks. Says, uh, "Oh, sad face." Appeal will take longer than the jail time. Yeah, um, yeah. As Patrick uh, Darcy again pointed out, he's got a uphill battle with with an, any appeals uh, aside from uh, um, anybody in Rams. Uh, live stream on Tuesday, we watched that video and he said, there's just all sorts of hurdles. Uh, appeal is basically just not going to happen. Yeah, and most uh, of it because of his conduct. Well, it's not just that. It's just the structure um, of, of the appeals process there. Yeah, You don't uh, go acting like that in court though. And you can get, not get. Oh, well, right well that, yeah, well, yeah, that too, that too. Yeah. And the appellate process is very difficult. Um, I don't know what it's like in, in Nevada, but here I actually have a friend that's retired and reads appellate cases because they're so backlogged. So they, I mean, they literally go almost third party before they even get, get there. So, you know, it's, uh, they're probably backlogged there just as well. Um, that's a good question, uh, uh, Victoria. I don't know if he was off, offered a plea. Um, I don't know. Uh, to, I don't know how to find that out either. Well, that second hearing, it would have been, um, it would have been in that, the uh, after the prelim and then he didn't appear for the, yeah, no, well, I can go back and look. Here, okay. I'll, let me go look. You're talking you about look. the case he was just convicted on. He was, he was 100% offered a plea. He oh, was? There, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, he was 100% offered a plea, $500, impulse control, 90 days of suspended sentence, and stay out of trouble while he's got that 90 days suspended sentence, and he said no to that. Well, that's pretty so, much what the prosecutor kind of offered. Exactly. Uh, 
Well, so, that, that's what they asked for at sentencing, and he right. screwed it up. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's almost identical what she asked for. Yep. Wow. And he had to make it a, a platform for his, his bullshit. Good, <laughs> ch- good choice, buddy. Yeah. Good choice. Are we surprised? Uh, uh, Joseph Pickett, 20 bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, chili cellmate, squeal like a pig boy, squeal. Yeah. Um, there will probably be a little bit of uh, Midnight Express in Chili's future, something or Deliverance, which, by the way, uh, that's the movie he's resonating, uh, referencing there. If you guys have never seen Deliverance, uh, a lot of people say The Exorcist is the scariest movie ever made. Uh uh-uh. uh deliverance. Uh if you if you've never seen it, I uh I do recommend it to you uh with the caveat that just be prepared because it takes a real hard turn. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> deliverance is one of those movies that depending on what age you see it, it means something to you. Every decade that you see it, you can You're see absolutely it. Absolutely right. Something different. <laughs> You're absolutely right, and I, I probably watched it 20 times in my lifetime, and each time it meant something. To, you're absolutely right, because the first time I saw it, I was in my late teens, I believe, when it came, or mid-teens when it came out. It scared the shit out of me because it could have happened to me. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, Papa Sander. Yeah, du- dueling banjos. Yeah, that that will uh, that will make the hairs on your uh, arm stand up. Papa Sander, uh, if you guys are familiar, uh, I'm sure you guys all know that song. That's what that's from. Um, yeah, freaky. Uh, thank you, uh, Joseph, for reminding me what a great movie Deliverance is. And I do not envy Chili. Uh, project, uh, Colin again, uh, for two bucks. I say all the time, Chili's own worst enemy. You're absolutely right, buddy. He is his own worst enemy. He just, uh, he won't listen to reason. And I don't think there's anybody in here out of the 500 or 600 people that are 640 people that are in here that could offer it with more validity than Colin. I mean, he knows him better than any of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he had to. Um, yeah, man. Uh, like we should, we should have Colin on a stream, absolutely, and, and just just talk to him. Just uh, how he de- dealt with that emotionally and stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine. I did have a boss like that, um, who was not as crazy as chili but he had a lot of similarities to chili um i thought this guy was pretty nuts but uh you know chili can open a, a crazy school um i'm gonna find uh pat's um i'm gonna find pat's you want me to pull it up and share it yeah, if you don't mind thank you uh, you just holy, keep going let me get it, holy, get it holy cow man i i just can't Thank you all enough for being in here. It's like 650 people still. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Yeah. (laughs) And, um, especially for your second live stream. Yeah. I, and I don't mind it. I'm not trying to, um, like, um, what is tonight's Thursday night, right? Yep. Yeah. Thursday. So it's, it's, it's Thursday night in Clark County jail. A bunch of inmates are doing homework for the programs they're in because they have some probably some short programs for guys that are in for some extended stays. And I think the way that Chili is protecting himself right now is being the law scholar and uh, offering legal advice. And that's how he's not getting beat up and taken behind wherever they get taken behind in there and, and having the extracurricular things that you don't want done to you. That's the only thing that saves him. He knows he knows he has impulse control when he's out in public, but I think he's smart enough to try and rein that in. And the way he saves himself is by law- offering legal advice and just spouting off enough about what he knows to give them hope that when he's out, he will help write legal uh, um, documents for them. And then obviously they never hear from him again once he's out. So that's yeah. that's how he's saving himself from the beatings and the other things that you don't and want to And that's what I there. said in my live stream the other night. That's what I, I figured that 
what he's going to do. He's going to try to hone in with his legal mumble jumbo and he'll get, because there's a lot of guys in jail. that are just going to suck up to, Hey, this guy really knows what he's talking about. Yeah. He, he can, write, he, he can, he can write these, uh, cases for, or, um, God damn it. I'm, I'm doing three things at once. I want, uh, uh, motions, write our motions for us and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I well, as we know, he doesn't know how to file them though. <laughs> Remember Deborah Rogers <laughs> when he went yeah, to file and, those and motions for her? <laughs> and that, that's it. that's the uh, um, that's the other side of uh, or the other component of his appeals. Like he's in jail. Uh, that that's going to be very difficult to do that. Um, uh, Danny for two bucks. Bop, send your emails now. Kaiser hates you too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't. Don't. Yeah. Send, don't start that. <laughs> don't send me any more emails, VOP. We we dealt with you once already. That was yeah. you know, and I. You know what? I didn't even go over. Uh, thanks for the two bucks, by the way, Danny. Uh, I didn't even go over all of the ones she sent me. She also sent me shit that was like related to like, uh, some congressman that got. Tommy Tuberville or something like that. Why don't you go after Tommy Tuberville? I'm like Tuber Tuberville, yeah, or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. What the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> w welcome, welcome, Bree. Thank you. Um, if I've missed any of these, I sincerely apologize. I am doing my best here, and I don't have any. Um, um, uh, thank you, Ram, for being here because he. Uh, okay, I shared it with you. So me. you should have it's right there for you to open up. Okay. Um, be right next to mine. Cool. Let me hit this. Uh, Sandy's, uh, uh, Sandy's a maniac. Uh, don't know where Charlie is. Uh, if we're to believe the community post, he's at least safe, right? So here's the thing. Yeah, that's a good question, though, because Chili was gobsmacked that he got jail time. Um, he was, this was not, he did not have a contingency for this. He did not expect this. So, um, but luckily, yeah, I, it appears that Charlie is okay. So, um, that's immediately, immediately after he was convicted, I heard them say that his car was on the third floor of a garage. So I snuck over, found his car. Cause I know by chance what it looks like. Charlie right. was not in the car. So good. I, Cause I he's notorious sure he, for leaving that yeah. dog in the car for extended periods. Well, there you go. Good deal. Cool. All right. Let's, why uh, let's, let's, Let's pop this. Um, you you playing it, Ram? Uh, you have a control of it. I can do all I can do is share it with you. You have to run it. Okay. I, uh... Julie De Castro trial. I'm just okay. going to give you some key excerpts where I think things went bad or good. I can tell you so we can get right to it. Chile has an almost impossible burden to get these convictions overturned. I'm going to mention something here. It sounds like someone is farting repeatedly in this trial. <laughs> farts do not get you very far so let's just see if we can hear it again i'll shut up i know that's hard for me to do listen for the yes i wrote that and what is your basis for um, reaching that conclusion well he could have been charged with battery on a police officer which would have been more severe but here is my earlier video and uh i said that based on chili narrating his encounter with the cop it was going to be enough to get him busted for resisting arrest. I think he's just walked himself into a conviction by narrating what happened. All right, so the, the um, is it, is um, to assign, no hang on a second. And the judge is having none of it. There is a lawful order right there. Can you, can you turn off the phone, please? Hopefully you guys can hear that. I'm not quite sure how to raise the volume on it. You already are. Okay, there's Rude. That is borderline contempt when she says, I don't want to be on your YouTube channel. You already are. You don't address a judge that way. Look at her facial reaction. Now Chili says he doesn't want to give it to the marshal. He's going to give it to someone else. No, no they're going to go to my marshal. That's a second potential contempt. And the judge said no, and he did it anyway. Okay. Hey, Ram, uh, can you pause that for a second? Because I want to make sure that people can hear this. 
And if you don't want to apologize, my uncle did his best. I apologize to the court, Your Honor. No, you can apologize to, they've done nothing to you. Actually, Your Honor, when you were here, you came on and gave a directive for no reason, sir. Tell me what you did. Not true. The court, the, the judge has already issued an order, no phones in the courtroom, and he pointed to the sign. Yes, I don't have any recording devices on me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Another contempt. Good day. I don't have anything on me. This is preposterous. Okay. This is preposterous. Yes, it is. Turn your phone to talk. They're recording everything. <laughs> More arguing. They have, they have yeah. a media request. Right, and I'm, I'm not recording anything. Is it your your guy here took my phone, so he's on his phone, not on mine? Right. Your guy here. <laughs> oh, just make sure I'll, I'll. You take yeah. his phone, too? No, I'm not going to take your lawyer's phone. He's really? an officer of the court. Did you hear that? Chili says you're going to take my lawyer's phone, and she says I'm not going to take the lawyer's phone. He's an officer of the court. Did you hear that? We're officers of the court. We do get a lot of privileges. Let's get to, uh, he did not cooperate, and the, the cop really brought in some major testimony right here. Um, I told him seven times to face my patrol vehicle. Did not I would stop that one and ask how he knew how many times. So he must have been studying his testimony. What were you looking at? Oh, I was looking at my police report. So you, your recollection is actually cloudy. You only can recall it because of what you wrote down at the time. And what you wrote down at the time could probably be in error. See, none of this is being challenged right now. I listen. I told him six times to turn around. He did not listen. It, was, it wasn't until I told him that he was going to go to jail. That was the consequence, not listening, that he allowed us to go. Okay. Did he cooperate with um, any of the officers present at the scene? No, he kept. Objection, lack of foundation. We don't have those officers here to uh, testify whether or not that is true. He's basically testifying as to what they thought and, and believe. I would have objected to this. Let's go to the body camera, which was really the piece de la resistance. Okay. And does this show the, the time that you activated your camera? Yes. This is authentication. It's similar to what you testified to uh, earlier. Yes. Okay. Um, and you've had an opportunity to see this entire mm -hmm. like, uh, 12 and a half minute long video, is that right? Yes. It fairly and accurately depict um, the This is authentication. Get it into evidence. The defendant on the date and time that we've been discussing. Yes. Our ability to admit and subsequently publish um, the file label 468 underscore number sign one dot mp. I don't know about the publication part. That would be for a jury to see the actual exhibit. The, the, the thing is on the screen already. You're looking at it. So it's being published already. But anyway, uh, that was the right move to get that admitted into evidence. That was crucial because now the judge can use it in evaluating the conviction. Let's uh, go to... Here's where we're going to get to the backup and obstruction charges again. Now, a videotape in and of itself is hearsay because it's just a recording, but he's authenticating what he said, and it's him, and it's the party to the case, the defendant. So you get around hearsay real quick if it's just basically, but you can't narrate. That's also an objection. Narrating is just talking. It has to be questions. Stay away from my driver. It's a lawful order. Back up or I'll detain you. Lawful order. No, you're not. Uh, we're getting into uh, obstruction and resisting. Basically, they, that's where these statutes get weird because how do you determine this? Is this a resisting charge or an obstruction charge? Could be obstruction, but it could be resisting, which is why these statutes really bother me.
Pop the same obstruction. He's citing to Rodriguez versus United States, but that's not helping him right now. Here we go, officer safety, consistent with the Nevada cases. He started making contact with the driver, your stopped uh, driver, um, that you approached him and asked him to back up. Yes. Objection leading. She's just basically testifying through him now. Anything within 21 feet, um, that suspect would be able to charge an officer without them being able to react to that. Okay. And at that point in time, you were the only officer present, correct? Objection leading. Okay. And when he began, or when the defendant um, failed to obey your command to back up, that's when you decided to engage him. Yes. Okay. More leading questions, guys. You automatically see it. Your police report, um, do you recall referencing the fact that he had due notice in this meeting of what you were planning to do? Yes, when I gave him four commands to back up those due notice. I would love. And at some point in time in the video, it's recorded, you told him that he is allowed to record, but he just needed to back up. Yes. Okay. She's just summarizing and, and basically leading questions. This is leading question city. Let's show you what a. But you'll agree with me that he did not have notice as to the distance you wanted to back up. Is that correct? That's correct. Now that's an interesting attack by by the lawyer Michael Mee. He's a very smart guy. He's going to now try to argue. Well, okay, he's given due notice, but he didn't really know how far to back up. You in the academy said twenty one feet because you could be attacked in half a second and you need time to react. But you never told Chili that. That's a great, great argument. Great point. Because remember, we're dealing with vagueness of statute. Uh, Officer Mee, how long? Uh... Were you issuing these commands then before you decided to take it? Great question. Um, I've had the same problem with the delay part of the statute. Well, what, how long is a delay? Approximately 15, 20 seconds. And now think about that. You could be nailed after 15 or 20 seconds of noncompliance. Does that sound constitutional to you? And you recall in your police report uh, stating that you did not believe his intent was to harm you? Yes, I wrote that. Very nice point brought out by the lawyer there. What is your basis for? Oh, sorry. I'm going to mention something here. It sounds like someone is farting repeatedly in this trial, and farts do not get you very far. So let's just see if we can hear it again. I'll shut up. I know that's hard. Let me just say that was a chair. Listen for the burr. Yeah, uh, uh, Ram, can you uh, pause that for a second? Or can it, I pause? It, I guess I can. It pause. was no, it was a chair because when I, you know, I broke this video down and did all those shorts and it's yeah. and it, actually the chair, the wit, and I hope that Rico might confirm this. Right. I heard it uh, every time they scooted the witness chair, it happened. There must be a wood floor up there. Uh, yeah. No, it's a chair. Can I add one more thing real quick? Yeah. I just want to welcome Mikey B into the chat. Mikey B is a very big Chili supporter, and I want to right. welcome him into a, a censorship-free chat. And uh, he's probably not used to that because in Chili's chat, everything is censored, and all you see is Chili's version of uh, what the world is like. And, and I'm going to repeat something I said earlier. Mikey, I think it's admirable that you support your friend Chili. There's nothing better you can do on Earth than support your friend. And to come in here and support Chili is admirable especially when he's locked up for 180 days to uh, not conform with what society expects but i think you need to take a moment and ask yourself what have you done to help chili with uh, what appears to be some obvious mental health issues 
it's pretty unanimous. And I think the, the people of the state of Nevada decided that Chile needs some impulse control classes. And he didn't want that. He decided he wanted to go into jail for 180 days. And you've decided to come in here. And in all, every chat that Chile's ever done, you come in and protect Chile from the reality of the world. The reality is that it looks like he needs some impulse control class. Instead of that, you protect him from the outside world. And then you decide to come in here. Ask yourself this. What have you done to help Chile on the path to health? You've done nothing. So spend some time when he gets out. Get him healthy. He needs it. Any questions, class? I don't think uh, that was uh, well said, my friend. Real well, well said. said. Um, I'm going to hit some of these super chats real quick before we go on with the video, only because uh, I feel, I, you know, I don't want to miss anybody. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and in case anybody, I'm about 15 minutes behind. So I, you know, I know people can't stay forever sometimes. So, uh, and you guys are giving me good goddamn money. So I want to make sure. Uh, oh, uh, Jason Dollarhide. Oh, a uh, celebrity in the house. Where is my, where is Chile? I need my attorney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He left him in the lurch too. It's so uh, long. Uh, and I'm scooting back down. The OP, uh, Bree, did we welcome Bree? Remember? We had uh, Charlie. Let's see, AJ. I think that's where we left off. Chile in jail. Can Ironton do his trial by Zoom? Well, you know, what's interesting is uh, they could actually extradite him uh, after his his uh, jail term ends in uh, Vegas, in uh, Clark County. Uh, I'm looking a little more into that. Uh, I'm going to email Mr. Goo and see if uh, he might have any answers to those kind of questions. Uh, thanks for the two bucks, AJ, and excellent question. Uh, Paul Barry for two bucks. Uh, Chili just wants his mama to love him. Yeah, he's got, he, he definitely, uh, I don't know I mean, if you guys caught my last video, but he definitely has had a long history of uh, trouble with the fairer sex. Um, and whether that stems from like his mom, not, you know, whatever, giving him enough titty milk or whatever, or his dad being such a, a prick to him or hating him. I mean, um, we can only speculate, but there's definitely something, something there. Yeah. He's got, he's got female troubles. Um, big ones, gross ones. Uh, thanks for the two bucks, Paul, uh, Glenn Mack for two bucks. It's always someone else's fault. He won't learn. Yeah. Uh, refer Yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of feel like that's the way it'll swing. Like Rico at a very, um, fair uh perspective on it uh hopefully he will learn uh that would be something i i would hope the same thing i don't know if it'll happen but time will tell i guess brie for two bucks thank you no message but thank you brie appreciate that chili hates transparency for 7.99 uh jose is so up himself that he looks in the mirror for whilst flogging it oh i see uh Spanking the monkey and calling himself a calling himself a pig. Jackboot the pigs. Yeah, Chili blows the police. Yeah, Chili does have a weird thing with the cops, and that's another psychological issue that I find fascinating. Um, if you go back and look at his older videos, he definitely liked dressing up like a cop uh before he has a lot of weird innuendo when he um interacts with uh good looking younger officers it's very strange um and i don't know what to make of that i don't know if i want to make anything out of that um it's weird that's for goddamn sure but thanks for the uh eight bucks man um let's see uh and also sorry about my glasses the screen is like at just at the distance where if i lift my glasses up i can't see it and i can't see it with my regular glasses either so it's fucking great uh jose's parents are cousins <laughs> now that's just not nice uh chili has probably had his ass kicked twice oh you mean already it, um it's possible i don't know uh definitely and, and i don't even know if anybody has any thoughts on how we find out about that stuff let me know because i don't i uh, 
jail is something I try and avoid. And uh, I have no idea how one would find that information out. Um, and uh, EDB, Ellen, do, oh, I, I, oh, I'm not even going to slaughter your last name, sweetheart. Uh, no. Uh, but for, okay. That cr uh, thank thank God, Chile don't live here in Norway. Yeah. So is that a kroner? Then, holy, I'm fuck. Uh, wow, that seems like a lot. So sh thank you, I uh, appreciate it. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're you're lucky. That's for sure. I don't think you'd have him. Um, other countries aren't like. USA, you can't just kind of waltz in. They have standards that we don't. <laughs> uh, let's see, for $1.99, Jose De Castro, you stuck a cell phone. You're all betas, OTBO. Yes, we are all betas. Uh, that was the other weird fucking thing that, um, and that's what somebody remind me next time at Stone Vets about that Michael Eller's lawyer guy he made a comment about 15 minutes into the live stream about Chile may be crazy, but blah, blah, a little crazy, but you know, he supports what he's doing. It's alpha males like him. And then to top it off, he said, and me that get things done or something along those lines. So right there, that was a big alarm bell, but he also said, um, now I uh, I only uh, caught parts of chats about this. So apparently this guy he said uh, he was a marine on the stream. Somebody said uh, they weren't sure about his marine credentials. So uh, I'm not saying anything, you know, one way or the other. But uh, that is something I want to look into. So uh, uh, remind me next time we're with uh, Gay Tom Selleck to. Um, he Ask claims that he went through he went through boot camp and then got injured in the school of in infantry, so he never uh, made it out of that. So now, we have another. Uh, I, I won't I won't shoot down the fact that he tried, but here's the here's the biggest issue I have with him. He talks about former Marines. Now every Marine I've ever worked with, you're either once a Marine and always a Marine. Right. There are no former Marines. You're a Marine or you're not a Marine. Right. So for a right. guy, a guy who went through uh, base or boot camp and then through partially through a school of infantry, uh, either you're a Marine or you're not a Marine. There's no former Marines. Any Marine I know who, who hears that is going to beat his ass. So yep. he, this guy's all talk. OK, well, I'm not going to uh, till I know more. I, I won't say uh, I'm, I believe you, but I'm just not going to comment much further on that but i do that is something we need to look into because that certainly reminds me of somebody else yep uh glenn mack uh for two bucks i will never get tired of suspended yeah uh i don't think any of us will man that that's one for the fucking wall of fame uh that might make a good t-shirt actually uh um jose de castro again how are you able to uh, send these from, from jail, Chile? Uh, buy my new cafeteria rights prison dry phone now. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Scotto, are you around? That sounds like a project for Scotto. That's good stuff. Thanks. Uh, and let's see. Uh, Diamond Draco became a YouTube member. Nice. Thank you, Diamond. Appreciate that. Uh, Brent beers for two bucks. Cops squeal like a pig. Inmates, you got a pretty mouth. Yes, more deliverance. Uh, yeah, if you've ever heard that phrase and not been sure of what, where that comes from, it, again, that's, I don't want to spoil things for you, but yeah. Uh, stop ignoring my super chats, cop sucker. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry there, Jose. Thanks for the two bucks. Uh, Hillary White for a dollar. I, I hope he doesn't start. I get to start a church in Chile. Yeah, now that would be a uh, that would be a don't give him any ideas. <laughs> I mean, he might just take the uh TV preacher lead and start selling uh holy water or something. Uh, hey, yeah, who knows? But I, I truly believe the, the elite laws empire, I think this is it for it. Um, 
It doesn't look good. Does not look good. And oh shit, Frauder Troll. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the 10 bucks. Uh, yep, 178 days ago. I was wondering, she said it starts now, so I'm assuming that it the counter started from right then and there when they let him off. But yeah, thanks, thanks for being here, buddy, and thanks for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Touche is a new member. Jose Bedwetter. Thank you, uh, Touche and Jose Bedwetter. Now that's just not nice either. Uh, defending it, Jose in here is brave. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I've, uh, I just, I feel more sorry f for those people. Um, and like Rico said, you, you are culpable, but you know, again, some people are just never going to get it. That's the reality. Um, you know, just a quick look around outside. Uh, it'll prove that to you. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, we don't. And again, I'm, I'm hoping we, I, I don't really mods. I don't want to bother with that. I figure, um, my audience is probably all adults enough to handle themselves. And, uh, we got enough funny motherfuckers in here that are just going <laughs> to roast your ass alive anyway. So yeah, maybe it is kind of bright. Maybe right. Maybe it is kind of brave for him too. Uh, cause, uh, there's some witty, witty individuals out there. Um, thanks for the five bucks. Uh, let's see. Super sticker. From uh, crazy for the river. Thank you. Somewhere down the crazy river. Um, Ellen EDB, Ellen, and again, I'm, I'm going to mangle your last name, so I'm just not even going to say it. But thank you for the uh, holy shit, 59 more kroner. God damn. Thank you. I, I This is blowing me away, guys. Thank you. Uh, Chili will learn. Chili will learn when all the potatoes are at the same size as we say in Norway. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, hey, Ram, can you look that phrase up and see what that means in Norway? Uh, I'm not sure I follow, but uh, but yeah. Yeah, he'll learn all right. I'll, I'll agree with you there. But, uh, Ram, if you can look up that. Uh, uh, and troll again. Thanks, buddy, for 10 bucks. Uh, Chilito is it suspended judge? Nope, it starts right now. Yes, sir, it sure does. Um, and then frauded a roundup. Chili has pr uh, for two bucks. Thank you. Uh, Chili has pretty eyelashes, like a lady. He sh he sure does have pretty eyes, a real pretty mouth. Uh, thank you, uh, Diamond Draco. I had a medical out of the core in boot. No shame. Yeah, man. No problem. Absolutely not, man. Um, but, you know, don't go saying you're a, a, a veteran after after that point because you're not. You know, it is what it is. And uh, I salute you for um, the attempt, man. You know, shit, ha you know, shit happens. Um, you know, um, but uh, the fact that you, you tried, you, you deserve a lot of credit for that, man. All the credit. Uh, Andrew Mays uh, for 199. Even his website went straight to deal. Yeah. Uh, again, earlier we showed uh, Chili's website is uh, is kaput for the moment, and we're not sure what to attribute that to at the uh, moment. Whether or not that's uh, a function of his uh, um, maybe a klut klutzy assistant or uh, you know an inexperienced assistant um, a panic thing or just unknown. Um, try, tr maybe he, because he, he can't sell any more trifolds or merch and that's where all that is sold through. Although, Hey, um, should, uh, Ram, if you can have a look real quick and see on Chili's website, does he have, I guess he doesn't sell it. Um, through teespring or anything like that i think he has his shit made for him right so um um he would have to shut that down too um eh, maybe it's not that important don't worry about it uh we can just assume not but uh i'm assuming it's related to that not being able to sell the merch and deliver it um at least until they can figure something out um but i would really love to know what's going on behind the scenes over there um 
Let's see, Empire of Arts Entertainment Show is a new member. Thank you. That's awesome. Go Touch Grass, a new member. Awesome again. Mr. Shigura, uh, you were cracking me up over there, by the way, in that Michael Ellers guy uh, um, chat. Yeah, you were you were bringing it. That was good. Uh, thanks for the Don. Yes, we all knew this day would come. Uh, grats all around. Well, I expect nothing out of life. So, um, you know, uh, this was like, I, it, it blew my mind. I, you know, I think it kind of blew all of our minds. Um, if I could speak for the group, um, it was, um, unexpected, but certainly welcome. Uh, and men, uh, Daysom for five bucks, much respect to you. By the way, uh, this guy's got some talent. Uh, he's got a way better artificial chili voice than me. Um, it even puts in his little, it's got some, a lot more vocal variation and it's a lot cleaner than my audio too. Um, uh, oh, by the way. Yeah. Um, remind me to AI chili sent a, a vacation photo. So, um, after we watch this video, remind me to play that, but yeah, you should check out, uh, men's, uh, YouTube channel. He's just getting started, but uh, he's worth watching, in my opinion. Um, and if Ram, if you can drop the link to Men's in the chat, or if you're able to do that. Let's see. Uh, Jimmy Hell for two bucks. Jimmy Hell. Chilito Decastorated. Yep. Absolutely. Thanks for the two bucks there. Yes, he is. Never had much of him in the way of scrot. Uh Snafu the Great, five bucks. Just realized the chili was in a thousand ways to die. He was the drunk bodybuilder who crushed his chest under a steel beam in the segment Dead Weight. Yes, he was. Good call. Uh, I would play it, but I don't know if it would get copyright struck. But you I think it's on YouTube, but it's pretty funny. Um yeah, yeah. He played, and then in some other show, Touched by an Angel or something like that. Somebody else might know better. Uh, I believe he like gets his ass kicked in the episode. So yeah, he he was kind of typecast for sure. Uh, but that, yeah, thanks for thanks for reminding us all of that. Uh, Joey Riley, new member, awesome. Welcome, John Clark for two bucks. They have Chili's release date for eight three twenty four. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for that, sir. And uh, if I have our entertainment show for two bucks, Chili has been deleted. LOL. He sure has been deleted. Uh, I think, it, yeah, I think, um, I think his channel will be dead, to be honest. And without that, there's not much to say. Uh, Touche for two bucks calling CO's pigs. Equals disciplinary actions. Yeah, well, he found that out the hard way. That's that is for sure. Um, cool. Uh, I think that catches it up on um, all the super chats and everything. Thank you guys. Uh, very generous of you. I, I really appreciate it. Um, it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having a good time. And uh, let's get back into Pat's video so uh, we can watch what we all came here for. Uh, Ram. Can you start that back up or is that me? Um, Ram. Hello. Or maybe this is me. What is the basis? There we go. Well, he could have been charged with battery on a police officer, which would have been more severe. But I wasn't, I didn't think his intent was to hurt me, so I didn't charge him with that. That actually hurts Chili, though, because now the cop looks like he's trying to be a little bit compassionate here. And the fart did not distract him. Let's go to where Chili says he's a public figure, which would hurt him on every defamation case he ever brings. Being branded a public figure under Reader Di Reader's Digest decision is uh, grounds for having to prove malice and recklessness on any defamatory statement. A knowing falsehood, knowing reckless statement, reckless disregard for the truth. I'm known across the country and across the world. Okay. I was obstructing which from my understanding is a physical act. Sorry to interrupt you, Chili, but no, obstructing could be just, you know, non-compliance, staying stationary like those guys that are 
stop oil guys or whatever. To get in the way, he said that the driver deserved privacy. I believe my First Amendment rights are not up for feelings. I do not like that answer because um, he is using her feelings as opposed to his constitutional rights. And it shows intent now. I don't know that he really quite understood that. He's now broadcasting his intent. His intent is to get involved in this now. It would be much better if he had said he was mistaken. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not trying to invade on anyone's privacy. I'm just was just trying to film what I thought maybe be police brutality. And that's why I was there. But now he's saying, no, no, I have the right to do this. Well, that changes the context of those two charges. Yikes. I'm sure the judge got wind of that one. Oh, let's get back to the fart again. Sorry. Don't broadcast them all the time, but listen carefully. Another fart. <laughs> Here's where uh, Chile says it was an unlawful command. It won't have as much impact because he's not an attorney, so he can't offer those kind of opinions. But he could just simply say, you know, when you say an unlawful command, it sounds defiant, which is another problem. Goes to intent again. Can we swat any of the officers? Absolutely not. He was giving me unlawful commands. The, should not have been detained after I identified as a member of the press. The press do not have special rights, Chile. I know you guys like to think that, but they do not. Yes, there's freedom of the press. It's a First Amendment freedom of expression, but it's all under the rubric and the umbrella of the First Amendment itself. That doesn't give you special rights. It does give you special privileges and defenses in a slander case, no cases that I've seen. If he ever reached a hand out towards me, I wrestle and teach MMA and I have for 30 years. So it's just a natural reaction as I'm retreating from somebody. If I may have put my hand up, as he said, as he testified himself, I certainly am a law abiding citizen. I don't break the law. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't go into all that extra detail. This is what we call filler. Um, it would be more along the lines of it was accidental, um, but it was not because of my trained MMA skills, it was accidental. You know, he startled me. He surprised me. Again, no willfulness. But this sounds kind of in the middle a little bit. You know, it's not helping him to say these things. Would not have tried to assault an officer under any circumstances. Okay, that's good. Is it possible that uh, during the interaction there was inadvertent contact between you and the officer? Great sure, question. He decided to go hands on with me. Oh, that, see. The lawyer asked a great question, but Chile went too far with it. Uh, there was subtlety to what uh, Michael Mee was saying. He says, if there was an interaction, I like the choice of words here. Very well done, very skilled. And But Chile's using the term hands-on, which takes a completely different image now of combat. It would be more like, yeah, you know, I mean, I was nervous. The guy grabbed me. The cop was grabbing me. I was afraid that he was, you know, what was he going to do to me? I'm going to get beat up. He's giving me unlawful commands. See, that sounds defiant again. And there's absolutely no reason for it. I was willing to comply with anything he asked within reason. Within reason, you see that also. Now, I like that Chile said that because one of the problems with these statutes is they're vague, but it's not really his call to make that. It's his call to comply and then bust the cops for going overboard later, but he's ba he's basically kind of battling with the cop. Listen for, listen for the fart. Oh, wow which that's what press people do. We have lots of cameras on us. Uh, that was a big one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's the chairs, but let's just listen one more time. Let's get a replay on that one. Imagine um, hey, and passing gas. Hey, Ram, uh, can you pa pause it for a second, buddy? Um, uh, just wanted to put this up here from uh, Jeff. That is all. Uh, for five bucks, another possibility his attorney did, advised him to have it taken down, especially after he admitted to giving legal advice in court. Uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, uh, that his attorney may have advised him to take it down. Yes, uh, now his no. I don't know. Um, no, 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 we got a solid no from Ram. What's your solid no from? Well, we know Chile. He's a narcissist. He's not going to listen. No, no, not when it comes to the chance. Not, not that attorney. You talking about Michael Me? Uh, well, presumably, yeah. 
Yeah, I no, I don't think so. Could you know? Um, now, I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick to my. I'm going to stick to my guns and say that Chile doesn't even know whether that channel's up or down right now. Yeah, unless not not at this point. I think yeah. I think the plug was pulled by the powers that be. Um. Wait, what happened in the? Um. Yeah, he. Um. Yeah, just as me. So. <clears throat> His other website is still up, the End Torture Cuffs website. Right. Um, and as I mentioned before, that's a whole nother conversation. That That is a shady-ass operation he's got going over there. And uh, we can go over that some other time. Um, okay, cool. We'll hit it again, I guess. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Darcy's got an obsession with these parts. <laughs> okay. I mean, even if it is a chair, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. It completely fails to consider the safety of the officer and the safety of the driver. The officer doesn't know who you are, and the driver doesn't know who you are. And you don't have any right to interfere with that officer doing his investigation and deciding if he wants to issue a ticket to this driver. And you are also don't have any business approaching the driver. The driver didn't ask you for help. It was interesting. The DA went for a basically, I thought, a very mild punishment, which is what I thought he would get originally. Let's listen to what she's offering. The I would ask um, the federal uh, up and nodding his head well just emphasize your honor that jerry castro please stand i hereby sentence you to 90 days in the clark county detention center on count one 90 days in the clark county detention center on count two to run consecutive for a total of 180 days in custody put him gripping his, his hand right here sentence suspended or oh no i'm gonna start right now so there you have it. Um, the uh, the things he did when she was looking at sentencing him was terrible. Um, you know, I think that's what I think that's where the sentence came down harsh because the DA wasn't looking for a harsh sentence. I think he could have walked uh, from any jail time, but he would have, you know, got a conviction against him. Okay, fine, but thumbs up and. You know, basically confirming the judge's suspicions that he likes these interactions and just trying to basically have at it with the cops and he hates all police. Well, now, you know, she looks at this as willfulness, I think. I mean, I don't know, I'm not her. And then she sees what he did in the courtroom to her own staff who are police. Uh, so in her mind, now she's kind of dropping the hammer. Uh, not much uh, her defense, his defense lawyer can do about something like that. Anyway, hope you liked the video. And let's see what my prediction was. Those habit evidence, uh, he has a propensity to uh, incite the cops to not comply with them. And that's exactly what the judge said in the sentencing. She says, you just hate the cops. Boom. I got that one right. You know, uh, there's the willfulness requirement. Yep, the, the police officer said he refused to comply. He must have told him, what, five or six times. Again, I'm still the cops. 
but it sounds like the cops gave him lawful orders and he refused. That's what the cop testified to. I gave him lawful orders and he refused. Probably on body camera. Exactly. What did they do? They brought in body camera to nail him. Body cam, which is going to be used against him as well. Yep. Did he fail to give them uh, who, his, the, the proper ID? Did he refuse? They didn't say that. Just to ID, you know? Did he slow them down and make them repeat the same question 40 times? Well, the cop said it was like six times for, uh, you know, move back and a few times for five times for, you know, cuff him up. Those are hard charges to beat. And uh, my, my, my prediction is just based on his pattern and practice, he's going to get convicted of at least one charge, probably two. And uh, he's going to then get uh, probation where he's going to have to now comply with a lot of things or he's going to be back now looking at real jail time. And here's where things can get really bad for him. They could run those misdemeanor uh, sentences consecutively. And what did they do? I went out and said early on, way before there was a trial, I analyzed over 200 of Nevada statutes. The Nevada Supreme Court has said these are statutes are constitutional. I don't think they are from a California perspective. I think they're overly broad, overly vague. They use subjective language. It's not easy to determine. But the Supreme Court of Nevada broke from the Ninth Circuit and said, officer safety is a paramount concern. And that's what the DA went after. That's what that police officer testified to, officer safety. So it goes right into the grounds of whether or not it was gonna be appealed on those issues, they would win. The appellate court is bound by the Supreme Court's decision. So any appeal there is basically a dead letter. Then they'd have to petition the Supreme Court. They'll just reject it, I think. Then it has to go to the Ninth Circuit federal and then try to overturn a state law that they say contradicts other cases within the circuit. There it is. There it is. Uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed to Patrick, uh, uh, Ram, did you end up putting his uh, link to his channel in the chat at, at all? Uh, it wouldn't matter. It'll just fly through. I can't pin it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, anyway, Patrick Darcy. He's pretty sharp. <laughs> I I put it in earlier, but just flew right through. Okay. Unless I, unless I have a wrench, I can't pin it. Well, um, yeah, you should definitely Hold subscribe up. subscribe to him. Uh, are you? How are you guys doing? How's everybody feeling? Um, I'm happy to keep going. I know uh, Gene just said, "Yeah, two hours." I looked up the clock. Holy cow! It's been two hours already. Oh, I, I'm good. I don't know how everybody Who, else under- feels. I'm good for another 20 minutes, but here, here's the underlying issue. Mm-hmm. The court and society and the court in particular expect you to be apologetic and contrite when you're being sentenced. I've been in juvenile court where there are 14 year olds who know this is the time to act like a grown up, sit down and be quiet and act like, you know, you did something wrong. I've come home and found my dogs have done something wrong and they know to act like they're innocent and be apologetic because they did something wrong. So when the judge is looking at you to impose sentencing, you should act like a grown up and sit down and look like you've learned your lesson. And if you can't look like and act like you've learned your lesson, you're gonna get a longer sentence. That's what going to jail is all about. And, and that's the basic, basic tenet of punishment. And so he hasn't learned that. And so you got a longer sentence. He can appeal it, and and it's going to take a very long time. And he might, like they say, you you might beat the rap, but you're not going to beat the ride. He got what he deserved for how he acted, and and that might people might not like that. But if you act like that in court, which is her office, that's what you're going to get. Yep, there it is. I mean, uh, yeah, that's the way it works. And I mean, you know, if you can't be respectful. What, what do you, I mean, and that's Chili's whole problem, you know, he just doesn't have any respect for anybody or anything. Um, that's the narcissism. Uh, Tank Girl, do you watch Andre Sloan, Dick Bag Patrol? Shit, yeah, Andre is awesome if you guys aren't subscribed to him either. He's a, a he's a cop. Um, because we're all just such bootlickers over here. Yeah. Um, but he's a no nonsense guy, he's a good guy, despite what you, uh, numbskulls uh think uh not all cops are bad uh i will agree there's a lot of shitty cops and i hope they get what's coming to them but 
it's, uh, it's like chili is display with the judge nodding in agreement, you know, that you hate all law enforcement. It's, um, yeah, like I said, there's some weird psychological component to Chili's hatred of the cops. It's not just, you know, and it could be that he, you know, he wanted to be a cop but knew he never could. Or I, I, like I said, man, there's a lot going in on in that guy's head, and it's all kind of scary. So uh, I don't want to speculate, but it, it's weird, that's for sure. But yeah, was that, uh, um that vibe that we caught on camera as he was led away. Uh, <laughs> how was that Rico? You know, he, he started calling it tyranny and the, the judge is a tyrant. And I, I don't remember the exact words, but it was showboating. I think that he would have acted differently if he did not have supporters in the room. I think that that was those two guys that showed up, um, one of them lets OTVO, who, who has been in some of the chats recently, bragging about how he was there. That did not help. That he was playing. If you see um, Chili turn around a lot, he was playing to an audience of two people. Had they not been there, and had the cameras not been there, I think he would have been a lot quieter and not been playing up to the cameras. So, in the future, if Chili has court and you're a supporter probably don't show up because you're activating what he has going on, which is showing off. He knows there are going to be cameras there, but it really, really didn't help that he had supporters there because he could not help himself. Every time you see him turn around and look over his right shoulder, uh, he's looking to his two supporters. And that's who he turns to and talks about tyranny and, and the tyrant and when he's being led away. Yeah. I mean, look, man, even if it's the most galling thing in the world to you to have to like, say, uh, you know, you know, uh, do that, you know, uh, be apologetic and act like you, you know, you don't hate cops. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta, I mean, if it's a choice between walking out of there and losing everything, essentially, uh, you know, take it on the chin, man. Like just recognize it for what it is. I mean, all of us have to grit our teeth and deal with some fucking shit that rubs us the wrong way. You think if this guy was really focused on his mission, you know, he'd be smart enough to see those kind of things. But, you know, um, again, his ego just gets in the way every time. And yep. He's just definitely his own worst enemy. Um, you ready for another video? Um, oh, which one are you going to, uh, his arraignment? Got? It's only a couple oh, minutes. Uh, it's, eight, it's eight minutes. No, I don't, I didn't feel like that one's covered. I was going to say, uh, can you pop up that Chad goo video? Okay. If you guys yeah. haven't seen that. That's a good one. Um, yeah, I'll pull them both up. Yeah. And I know you guys have, um, I mean the rest, uh, the rest definitely never gets old, but, um, I haven't had a chance to do my own video on this. Um, it wouldn't be that long, you know, it's just my take. I was just going to kind of go through, um, you know, mostly through just Chili's testimony part of it and kind of, you know, just, uh, add some commentary into it. You know, um, uh, if you guys would be into that, I don't know. Is it over with now or could you stand to see, I kind of feel like obligated to, you know, have some fun with it because I've been watching this little fucking prick for so long now that, you know, yeah, I'm, I'll fully admit it is fucking incredibly satisfying to watch him go to jail. And uh, if you think that makes me a bad person <laughs> too fucking bad for you, I guess. Cause, uh, I really like, I feel like Christmas definitely came early this year, but if you guys, uh, uh, what I uh, would like to see that I, I will um, I'll tell you what uh, since this has been so awesome and so much fun I am willing to just uh, plow, plow through the night and uh, put one out for you guys in the morning if, you, if you're into it I enjoy it enough that I took Spirit Airlines the night before to get there and I've never, never ever taken Spirit Airlines and I'll probably never take it again unless I know for sure he's <laughs> getting rested again <laughs> wow <laughs> wow talk that, right up for spirit <laughs> that's dedication buddy yeah it and is. thanks again uh for rico uh everybody thank rico for Hell being yeah here. just uh added some really cool 
uh, insight into, into the proceedings. Um, and I, I have to say is quite a level headed guy. Um, it's a nice perspective he brings to things, uh, very even handed and, uh, forgiving, you know, he's looking, looking for some kind of positive outcome for Chile, which is, you know, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't wish the guy serious harm or anything, but, um, you know, he, he, he really, my position has always been, he, he really just needs desperately to get some mental help because nothing will change. You know, if, if that kind of thing goes unchecked, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse. And honestly, I, I feel like he's become more and more unhinged in the last, um, you know, month or so. Um, it, um, is when I kind of noticed it. He was saying a lot of really fucking weird shit about um, the FBI and CIA watching him, uh, which for, uh, for all I know, they very well could be. I mean, so, so many people have, you know, reported him for things that who knows. And, you know, um, but, um, did you find it, Ram? Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hang on. Um, yeah, Chili. I that would be my hope for Chili. Honestly, that he gets some mental help because he, God knows, man, he needs it. And and Rico is right; he is a danger. Um, he butts his nose in where it doesn't belong. Yep, and doesn't have enough information. He just doesn't have the brains. He's talking about running for mayor, running for governor. Like he does not have the fucking capacity. Brain wise or temperament wise. Well, we've got Chad Goo up here, and as a reference, he was going to move back to Ironton. Yes. Remember? Yeah. You know, he and the, that's the other thing. Since Chad Goo's up here, um, he makes challenges and stuff that he never intends to back up. He, just like the Chad Goo deal, just like going back to Ironton, he was going to run. For, he, well, he said he was going to run for mayor, or some shit there. And take the town over. <laughs> He's such yeah, I mean, the whole thing is just about him showing everybody what a big, bad guy he is. That's the narcissism. Um, he's just trying to prove it to himself. And he has to, yeah, it's the narcissism. It's a self-reinforcing little force shield around yourself. Yeah, uh, he's, and he's, he strokes himself well. That's for sure. Uh, uh, Billy Yank, five bucks. Uh, this is a, a biblical quote. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from bushes, from thorn bushes, or figs from thistles? Hmm, it's kind of a little riddle there, huh? Matthew Since seven you're... sixteen, chili's a bad apple. Yeah, you know, and and yeah, I'll go along with Rico. I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't wish him well. I just don't want him to go around continuing to be uh, a nuisance and a danger. And look, it, hey man, if any of you chili supporters can sit down across the table from Tina Slay and come away thinking that Chili's a good guy. And that's not even stacking on all the other shit. And again, PDOCs, if you haven't gone over to the public documents.com, you can spend a couple days going through Chili's shitty behavior. It's, it's mind boggling. It is mind boggling. And if you can walk away from that and say, yeah, this is still a guy I want to support. Now, the, the really frightening thing is that some of you would be able to do that. And again, there's just kind of no hope for you, I guess. Yeah, Victoria, um, Deborah, Deborah's in my neck of the woods. The thing about Deborah was is she stuck with him. Yeah. She, what the she, fuck, she was, man? Yeah, yeah. She she still believes in him. She um, And not only does Chile not know anything about it, the law in general, but... It, Indian law, you, he loves yeah, less. <laughs> exactly. Once you start getting the, the you know, light tribal, have to get tribal involved, law. yeah, that tri that shit is. And plus, they just passed the McGirt uh, stuff, so yep. things are still unraveling from that. Well, it's just like filing the motions. He filed those motions improperly for her. They just. I'm sure he did. Him. I'm yeah. sure he did. You got to be up to date on that shit, man. Um, especially when there's multiple entities like that involved. You can't come in half ass just, just with bluster. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. You By know? the way, since you ask, <clears throat> a noke or an NOK, I guess it's noke. Is that right? The currency. 
50. Oh, the Kroner. Yeah. 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 Okay. F 59 would be $5. 249 oh, nice. would be $23. Well, that's that's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's really thank, cool. Thank thank Linda for that. She no. snagged it because Oh, she thank could, you, Linda. I got she you. could she could sense that I was scrambling trying to get stay up with your requests. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we'll leave that right. Thank you, is. Linda. Uh, thank you, Linda. Yes, Linda's awesome. Uh, uh, and thank you, Billy Yank, uh, for the thoughts on chili, um, and for the five bucks. Uh, so, uh, anything to add add to that, Rico? You know, the other people that he's really hurting are the people he's selling trifolds to. It's got what appears to be some pretty inaccurate legal information. <laughs> So he's taking money from people who probably don't have a ton of extra money to throw around. And at some point, somebody's going to end up in jail because they're holding up what they think is accurate information. Or hurt. Yeah, or hurt. But, but you, he has broadcast his own videos of highway patrolmen taking the trifold from him and literally throwing it down because they just laugh at it. So... It's it's not good accurate information. I, I could go piecemeal through it and show you what's not good on it. He still is revising it with no good accuracy on it. He's changed the color, changed the font, changed some things, but it's not good information, but he continues to sell it. There apparently are some delivery issues that there's an excuse for everything about why it's not getting delivered. He doesn't have a problem taking the money for it, but it's not getting delivered in a timely manner. And the people who do get it are getting bad information. I feel very bad for those people because yep. you're getting information that's not vetted by a lawyer. And as we see on some other channels, there are people who are lawyers who are not giving out good information, but you're getting information from somebody who does not have good legal training. I feel bad for you. Yeah, it's like the uh, it's like in the um, the sovereign citizen handbook, the, the handing a cop a pen and paper to, to, to sign a contract. <laughs> you know that's bad information you, you don't do that yeah so on, on the bright side I, I keep trying to think at his age at this point in his life what would he be good at so let, let's challenge his supporters that are in the chat right now stop arguing with everybody let's all take a minute take a breath put in the chat honestly what job could 49 and a half year old Chili get when he gets out of jail? Car salesman? What could he, what could we divert him into that, that he could do to redeem himself where he could focus himself and make some money and get a house and get a life that's going to be conducive to I, I a happy environment? <laughs> exactly. I, I don't I know. Pass. I, I, I thought about it a lot, especially when I was on Spirit for a couple hours the other night. I was thinking, <laughs> When when I die, because I felt like we were going to... I fly a lot for a living. And on spirit, I kept thinking, why did I do this? Wow. Well, what, what could he do? While the turbulence was throwing you around, you were in deep plot. <laughs> wow. You went to your happy place and started imagining Chili's... Uh, well, in a video that I did... Uh, well, first of all, what did you come up with, Rico? What, did, you, did you anything come of that? I kept going back to car salesman, but I don't think he could focus long enough to write the contract. It's possible. He definitely has, um, despite his claims of being an autodidactic, um, uh, perfect there, recall. There wouldn't be a sales whatever. manager. There's not a sales manager that put up with him. Exactly. That, but he, he, he believes in his product. And, and when he learns what he's selling, you know, if he was selling one specific car, he could learn that car and he could sell that car. He couldn't, to, he couldn't do multiple models, but really I, I couldn't figure out, out, any other thing he could do. So, yeah. well, he, 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 he would have to be the sales manager. He couldn't be a car salesman because he'd step on the, the, the sales manager's toes too much. There you go. Well, he is a liar though. So he's got that going for him. Uh, I, in a video in the, I believe it was in the Corey Feldman uh, video. I suggested uh, Bed Bath and Beyond or something like that, <laughs> yes. it, which no longer exists. But you know, wor World Market or cost, you know, cost plus or somewhere like that. I really sincerely could see Chili giving people good advice about housewares. You know, getting all jazzed up about fucking bath towels and shit, and like showing people where the, showing people where the spatulas are. 
sure. spokesperson for Nutella. I honestly think he'd be really he'd be really good at that. I think uh, his feminine side, uh, you know, H- him Jose met with janitor at the adult bookstore. <laughs> yeah, that too. He's equally suited for either one. Uh, thanks, Seema, for the two dollars, by the way, and Kelly W. Uh, look at Wranglers, people who choose to ignore his past and present crimes and still support him. People just want to hate. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, first of all, obviously, I agree with you there. Um, but, you know, it is the sad thing that some people are just going to go to the mat for these guys for whatever stupid fucking reason. You know, I I, I wonder, is it a switch in your guys's brain that just, you know, what is it like? Uh, it's like the emperor's new clothes, but without the ending where when he, he gets stripped naked, you still think he has his clothes on. Uh, well, I mean, he get, when he marches down the street naked, you know, w- with his new clothes and they're not there, but you still see the clothes. What, you know, I don't, I have no explanation for it. It's boggling, but it's just one of those fucking things. You just got to deal with some dummies. No getting around it. Um, but God bless them. Without the stupid people, how would we all know we're smart people? Uh, Glober mom for two that's, bucks. That's literally what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, that I, I kind of cribbed that from an episode of cheers, by the way, which is a great show. If you guys aren't familiar, um, sh- uh, shout out to Rico for Dietz, uh, pre post trial from Glober mom for two bucks. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. I can't thank you enough. This, uh, you really, absolutely. You really brought it, man. Yeah. It's been it's been a pleasure talking with you in person since we've been kind of uh, behind the scenes in it for quite some time. You there? Oh, you're muted, buddy. If you're saying anything, Rico. I'm just here. To, I'm here to serve. Oh, no, man. Well, I, I want you to know it's appreciated, you know. Um, um, like I said, he's kind of more of a, a background kind of guy. Um, and I get the feeling you like it that way. Well, I'm actually getting ready to retire and I didn't want him to get to take credit for it. So (laughs) I'm announcing that I'm announcing that now. Well, congratulations, man. I'm sure it's well earned. And uh, I hope um, whatever you, you know, whatever you're planning to do in retirement, I hope you enjoy it. Um, And we really appreciate you being here because, uh, yeah, some interesting little tidbits. Um, and like I said, uh, great perspective on life, man. I appreciate that. That's uh, what happens when you get old. Yeah, well, yeah, no, <laughs> uh, it's appreciated. Uh, Jose Bedwetter uh, for $1.99. I think Chilito is a trifle in his prison wallet. I don't know. Somebody said they mailed him a, I don't know if they were joking or not, but they said they mailed him a trifle in a 5 8 card. Uh, AI Chili is definitely gonna be sending Chili a card. I can tell you that. Uh, that'll that'll be nice. I think with some encouraging words. Uh, Hema for ten bucks. Thank you very much. Um, the issue is a warning to a ticket or maybe jail. Um, don't quite follow you. The issue is a warning to a ticket or maybe jail. Hmm. Uh, either I'm really stupid or I'm, I'm just not um, following the meaning. I apologize. Uh, but um, uh, if you want to clarify in the comments, we'll, uh, we'll uh, take a look at that. But thank you very much. I'm sure it was an excellent thought, even though I don't understand it. Um, Rico is cool. He is cool. Thank you, Hillary, for $1.99. He is cool. Uh, for two something. Don't recognize the denomination there, but uh, Big Evil Duchy Peter and Peter Vidville. I don't know what that means either, but I like it a lot. Um, for two whatever those are, um, testing new medicines could be a new career choice. That's good. I like that. Yep, he could definitely taint uh, like food additives and things like that if they're not sure about how how they affect humans. Sure, that's always easy money. Absolutely. 
sweep floors, selling cemetery plots. I'm just looking at some of the mortician. Snake oil salesman. Well, he's got that on lock. Uh, Kaiser has five open felonies. Yes, let's not forget that. Again, yeah, it's the same thing. I don't know why you guys just want to fucking ignore that. You're There's right, Colin. That. Those people, his followers, they just don't realize he doesn't give two shits about them. And, yeah. And he will, he'll dump you. Just, that, that's what narcissists do, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To Colin, you listen. Colin has firsthand knowledge of this. I, uh, he, he knows better than anybody. Yep. I mean, anybody that's in here right now, he knows better. Man, that's for sure. Uh, da, 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 da. No, it's not. It was not a, a frauditors equal losers. No, it was not all years ago. It's ongoing. It is definitely ongoing. Um, yes, yeah. Chaz. Colin did. I'm trying to sort out some of the chat here. And uh, salesman, actor, well, Pat's cats. He uh, failed at acting. He got booted from the Power Rangers show. If you guys didn't know that. See, this is just a pattern with him, man. He sticks his nose in where it doesn't belong, and it gets him into trouble because he thinks he's smarter than he is and awesome. I don't know. Have you guys seen that Jock Sock uh, interview he did? Uh, with uh, It's like a cheesy little fitness interview, fitness magazine interview from like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something like that. And he just uh, chilly. You know, he was a lot better looking then. Like he was like fit and you know young and tan and everything, but he uh he just came across like such a fucking asshole even in that video. Oh, you mean like, when he was a balcony climber? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, and if you didn't watch my last video about that, and you have any doubts that he's like not a fucking weirdo stalker loser, a, a woman abuser, woman abuser, go watch my last video and again. These. Were things that Rico located, and it was kind enough to uh, bring back and show the rest of the class. Like, yeah, those, it's, it, those court it's documents it. are priceless. Yeah, I mean, it's there. The evidence is there. You're just all of you, whether it's Wrangler or uh, Chili. At this point, you're just ignoring the obvious. I mean, it uh, ignoring the evidence. So uh, again, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I've, you know, I, I've kind of done. I'm not trying to convert anybody because it's like you're you're either gonna listen or you're not. So uh yeah, and if, if, you're not, gonna, if they're gonna chime in over here, they gotta hear it. Yeah, you'll hear it. Yeah. I mean you can come say whatever the fuck you want. I but I've seen it all I, I've seen the documents on both of them. I was there at the beginning of that Wrangler shit from and I don't want to get too far off of that tangent because this is about chili, but uh right. I was there, man. I asked the motherfucker right on the stream i said and he gave me a bunch of bullshit word salad and then 15 minutes later we had the black and white proof from master sergeant so there it is and he has never ever um said on a video anywhere if you can find it you show me because he never said went and told your fo his followers yeah i did this I, I, this specific thing this is what i did he's still telling people that he was uh he's military he has some sort of mil secret squirrel military background right on linda so anyway um but yeah same thing with chili father it's, it's like i said some people are just not gonna get it and i don't really have much time for that so that's at this point it's your fucking problem don't know what to tell you um but uh, in chili's case it seems like uh the results speaking to Speaking for themselves, he got himself landed in uh, in jail for acting like that. And you know, same thing for uh, same thing for Kaiser. And he'll honestly, end up, he'll, he'll end up he'll end up where he belongs. So, um, cool. We got any more super chats? Oh, uh, we we have uh, Chad's. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me uh, do these real quick. 65 CJ five, five bucks. His supporters are all useless followers. Not one can take his place while he's gone. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you're talking about Chili or Wrangler. Uh, well, Chili, I assume. Uh, yeah. He's sort of, he's the only one that made any of that 
work. You know, it was all, it's the chili show, you know, um, as again, Colin will attest. That's what I'm saying. Once he's gone off of YouTube and can't produce any more content, that's it, you know. Um, and with his website down, can't sell any merch. That's another huge chunk out of his uh, thing. I mean, this is going to be pretty devastating for him, especially as it ends up with even more time because of the new charges. So that's my prediction. Uh, and Bill Milligan, Glenn Serio stand in as the same character. So, yeah, that was, yeah. He, I was really shocked um, at the arraignment. Um, Cause he looked pretty crappy on camera and a lot of people <laughs> complaining when he went to HD cause he looked so bad. And yeah, I, I, it's been since kind of, he started the Vegas stuff. He really started. I mean, he never looked that great, but I mean, uh, he started really looking bad. I noticed it in one of the, one of my videos about him. Like he looked like he would just been, uh, I believe the phrase I used was hit in the face with a bag of hot nickels. Um, he started looking bad and he just, he's, he really waddled up to the, the stand. Uh, yeah, he and, developed some neck rolls. Yeah. I'm not trying to, uh, fat shame, but he, he didn't look, he looked unkempt too. Like his hair, he looked like an onion sprout, you know, and he's, the extra weight doesn't suit him, you know? Um, and, and the suit, it, you know, he was definitely over an overstuffed potato skin and that and it looked like he hadn't ironed it uh and then the next day it looked even worse so it looked like he'd been sleeping in it yeah yeah but like i said he's also sort of uh it's around the biggest time i've noticed him becoming even more unhinged than usual so he's just burning himself out man because all he's doing is flailing at, at the world you know and he has no focus uh no ability to complete projects you know he doesn't even have a real roadmap he just loud proclamations of shit he's gonna do and never delivers on um like the threatened lawsuit against uh me and um many others over the years uh why don't we go ahead and play chad gua video ramp and again, if you don't know who Chad is, he's the one that he's the you know, Ironton, Ohio cop that Chile. Uh, uh, he was supposed to have an MMA fight with him and they had like contracts and everything. And uh, um, Chile was talking all sorts of mad shit. Sorry, I thought did. you said play it. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I was just setting it up. Um, so and then Chile uh, last minute gets a note from his doctor saying he can't fight because his knee is bad and his blood pressure is high. But then he continues to talk shit. <laughs> Chad, after that, as, as he's making the announcement that he can't fight him anymore, um, he, that he's still talking shit. He's like, I, I could stomp a mud hole in your ass and all this. It's so stupid. I actually emailed Chad and I said, Hey man, now the Chili's in Vegas, man, I bet you I could, get the money together to uh, like have like a fucking Vegas prize fight between you and Chili. Well, it if was could, put together. Uh, the money was there. Well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And he bitched out. Yeah. But he, Chad was smarter than me. He was like, yeah, I gave him that little weasel a chance and that's, that's it, you know? So, but God bless him. Chad's hilarious. Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and play it now. If you, I'll shut up. Sorry. Seriously, is it coming up for uh, you know, it's not up, is it? Oh, it stopped because I, I left it up too long. I gotta reboot it. It's ah, shit. Sorry. Well, I, pulled, I pulled it up a long time ago and it sat too long. Hang on, I got it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that was my bad. Now it should. This is my first day. Now it should. Last night, I kind of had a little bit of fun. Um, and uh you know kind of didn't take it so seriously for uh you know the reaction to to chili's uh sentencing and his uh his trial that he had in nevada 
So I kind of wanted to do more of a, a professional type reaction to it. Um, and I got, uh, my buddy here, McKnight, he's, uh, you know, he's also a police officer. So you're going to get two, um, you know, professional, uh, responses, um, to what we seen, what we witnessed, you know, as far as, uh, as far as the, the trial goes and the heat, the way he acted, um, and, uh, kind of, a overall, uh, take on what we think and, and how we, what we consider really happened. So, uh, um, first of all, in, in response to uh, Chili saying, um, is that suspended? Talking about his sentencing, referring to the 90 days for each count. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nod uh, your head. <laughs> Nod your head. I just hate pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, and, and back, back to being serious again here. Um, as far as, uh, you know, him not wanting to surrender his phone to that filthy, disgusting pig, um, you know, from a professional standpoint, when the guy took the phone from his hand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he yanked it out of his hand. <laughs> he showed him. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so in closing, my uh, my overall uh, uh, take on this professional thorough breakdown is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, enjoy your time away, Chili. <laughs> See you in 179 days now. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy uh, your time and bonding and hope you enjoy being the little spoon. We miss you in Ireton. <laughs> we don't at all. No, no, we don't. That's that part's wrong. Right. Yeah. But uh, so uh, anyway, that's uh, all we have to say about it. So uh, any any closing any closing word, McKnight? All I gotta say is. Bah! <laughs> See you guys. Love you. See you next time. Okay, so McKnight, that's the McKnight that he was going after. The McKnight brothers. Remember he interviewed yeah. his brother in that cafe? Yeah. Right. Well, that's him. That's the, the cop he was going after. So yeah. Right. That nobody nice. else in the that nobody else in the town seemed to have any kind of problem with. No, everybody loved, loved him. Yeah. yeah. Everybody but like three people. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Well, yeah, and if you want to go look at those people, yeah, you might, yeah, you'll you'll understand why. Yeah, and um, it all it all started with that couple in a car stop. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So Chad, yeah, from the Ironton days. By the way, that uh, raises an interesting thing, which is that Ironton they can extradite him at the end of his sentence. And again, um, I mentioned this earlier. I'm gonna have to email Chad to find out more about you know, the possibility of something like that happening. I just, I just realized I should have set that up with the, the first video he made the day before. That's all right. Cool. Uh, all right. Um, Billy Yank for five bucks. No manager would put up with Chili's attitude. Yep. And if uh, Chili was a manager, no one would work for him. Yep. Double-edged sword there until he changes his attitude. He has nothing. It, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the attitude changing is only going to be a, um, a result of him getting mental help. You know, I mean, the guy's family is put out with him. You know, they don't want to deal with him. I mean, when that happens, man, <laughs> you know, it's time to yeah, take a look. Take a I, look. Think of that, I think of that video in Alaska when he was in the garage when the neighbor came over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um. Big uh, evil duchy Peter Vidvillet. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Euro equals size model for child's graves on cemetery. Oh, Euro. Uh, you're talking about the currency, I guess, then. Oh, I see. I, see. Uh, I thought it was the punch. So is the Euro still around? I thought they abolished Well, I think I get it. Um, I, um, I think it's still around. Is it? Yeah. Thank you for that info. Appreciate that. And the two euros. Um, please make the next live on Kaiser from Sarita Salsita. Oh, yeah. Well, we got stuff to say about it. Um, yeah. Can I, can I yeah. add something? Sure. Somebody in the chat just uh, suggested that there will be a GoFundMe to raise money 
to extradite him to Ohio. And that's the number one thing that prevents it, it's a relatively small warrant to move him. That's the thing that prevents extradition is the cost of extraditing somebody. I would pay the entire amount of money on a GoFundMe if somebody in Ohio from Ironton wants to post some information somewhere, maybe in the chili discord, if Ironton is interested in doing that, I will fund the entire thing to see him extradited to Ohio if somebody can work that out. Whoa. Wow. That's big. Wow, man. All right. Well, I guess we all have our homework assignments. <laughs> yeah, I'll, um, I mean, I Chad Goose seems a logical place to start. Um, yep. I guess I can email him. And uh, yeah, shit, I'm pretty sure everybody here would be uh, willing to help make that happen. But um, shit, man, that's a pretty goddamn generous offer, dude. I, I'm sure that Iron Turn wants to get him the help that he needs and maybe uh, they can work on uh, impulse control and mental health issues there. That's that's my motivation for trying to help them. Gotcha. Well, that's noble and appreciated. All right. Well, we'll uh, keep you updated on that for sure. Um, Billy Yank, we have a phrase in the Army to describe how Chili looked in that suit. A bag of ass. Yeah, yeah. I think I called him a bag of smashed assholes. Same sentiment in the last video. But that's what he reminded me. He just looked I think in the Navy, we used to uh, use soup sandwich a lot, but same thing. Yeah, just like, un it's just like unsat, rumpled. But yeah, um, uh, Sarita, uh, yeah, don't worry. We'll get to that fucking guy. Uh, e EDB, Ellen Do. Oh God, I'm so sorry about your name. Uh, another 59 Norwegian Kroner. Uh it can't it can't be healthy to be so angry all the time. Yeah. Um, I guess guess his heart will stop one day soon. Yeah, I um it, it isn't healthy. You're exactly right. It's it's I mean, can you imagine how exhausting it is? And uh again, this is something I'd like to ask Colin, just uh from that perspective, like how exhausting it's got to be just to deal with that guy, man. Cause I, like I said, I worked for a guy who was pretty high strung and, um, uh, crazy like chili. And it, um, I got stomach problems for a long time. Cause I, it was the kind of job where I had to, I was really running everything. And if I fucked shit up, um, uh, things would go very bad for the company. And it was like pretty serious. Um, Thing, you know, uh, I, don't know we, I can't get into too much detail about it, but um, essentially this guy was like Chili, his own worst enemy. Um, and I, it was up to me to keep everything on track. You know, if he got involved, shit just went kerflooey. So um, I started developing stomach problems because I, I wasn't able to react. You know what I mean? Like panicked at all. You know, I had to keep my wits about me, but it all manifested in me having stomach problems um until one day when he he said some stupid shit to me and i was just fucking sick of it and i said well if you don't fucking like it get somebody else to do it and you know what from that day on he didn't really fuck with me anymore so i don't know what the moral of that is but uh uh i think it was related to what you said <laughs> But yeah, stress is a killer, man. Don't, don't you know it? And life is way too fucking short to be wasting it doing stupid shit like harassing public officials for something that's ultimately going to come to nothing. But again, it's all for the the clout and the camera and their own weird, fucked up psychological reasons. Uh, Art Acuto, two bucks. Chili thought McKnight was cute. Oh yeah, probably. You're right. Yep, there's this weird cop fetish. And if you haven't gone and seen any of his older videos where he dresses up like a cop and shit, it is kind of like, what are you doing, man? It's creepy. Yeah. Uh, EDB, again, man, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, you've been really, really kind. Um, for 25 kroner, uh, the right spelling was guess. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, no problem. We all understood what you meant. 
We appreciate it. Um, well, guys, uh, man, we've been going for like almost three hours. Um, I uh, and, and Rico, I thank you for your, your generously uh, staying here this whole time, man, and adding your uh, your perspective. It's been great. I don't yeah, know it was about you. nice. To, nice to meet the man. I've heard. I want to say a lot it's about the highlight you. of. I'd like to say it's the highlight of my week, but seeing him get put in handcuffs was actually much better. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's why we're all here, man. And uh, um, right. I'm glad we could all kind of enjoy this together because what brought it together. Like I said, man, we've all been watching this little prick, and he's just been irritating the piss out of us for so long. It's it's uh, I won't deny it's satisfying uh, to uh, see him get some comeuppance we are we are we are getting to the um closing out stage yeah and when you when you live stream on my channel you generally have a request and i always fulfill it so i have a request to watch one eight minute video uh I'm, I'm good if you if you guys want uh are good with it it's uh up to everybody uh in the audience i guess but go ahead Sure, I'll make I'll make a command decision. I guess play it, <laughs> play it, bitch. Hurry up. A command decision. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Thank thank you all for being here. I this yes. Was, I mean, like much like Chili's arrest itself, this fucking exceeded all expectations. Well, it's a great follow up to the to your debut. I mean, it was you know that was beyond all belief, and this just blew it out of the water. Yeah, I could not. I, I mean, yeah, but it's, th uh, you know, thanks to everybody here. No kidding. Like I said, uh, yeah, I don't I don't think this is the type of channel that needs mods or anything like that. I think we're all pretty much mature right. adults. The only, re the only reason I want to play this is it hits on all the points we talked about tonight. You get to see it all over again. All right. All right. Uh, roll it. Okay. I'm going to sue everybody involved. I'm going to sue the cops. Social I'm going to sue the Castro, I appreciate you have an opinion. Today's just the arraignment. I got you. Oh, Jose De Castro. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. All right, Mr. De Castro. This is an obstructing or false handling charge. This case 24-006842. Obviously, I'm going to ask you, do you understand your proceedings are being filmed? Of course. Okay. Uh, they're here and, somewhere. Right. Okay. And just so that the record's clear, you have no objection to that? Of course not. Okay. I, I would like the transparency. I oh, appreciate it. Oh, no, that's it. fine. I need to ask that. City, there's no other issues for you with respect to this being filmed? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Mr. DeCastro. Um, did you get a copy of the complaint? I did. I, the only question I have is who's the prosecutor? What's the prosecutor's name? Well, let me ask a couple questions and then we'll get into what your questions are. Did you uh, review and understand this? I don't understand it. I don't understand how I can be charged with obstruction for filming a cop. Okay. It doesn't make um, any sense to me. So I'm asking a more, much more basic question. You do not have to agree with this. this is do I understand I'm in charge of the misdemeanor? Yes. I do understand I'm in charge okay, of the misdemeanor. Okay, that's literally it. I have trial tomorrow for the exact same Hey, uh, can you pause it for one second, Ram? Uh, in this Just pause it real quick. Uh, thank you, Diamond Draco. I don't uh, don't know if um, I read this or not. I'm kind of fading, so sorry. Uh Love Rico been there, but mine can be managed. Hmm, another uh, riddle. Love Rico been there, but mine can be managed. Well, uh, again, I'm not quite following it. Maybe that's on me, but uh, I appreciate it. Uh, if you well, want to, maybe Rico it. gets it. You get it, Rico. But mine can be managed. Really. Uh, were, were you referring to? He might. Maybe he was referring to something you mentioned, but. Um, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to highlight this too. So, remember Chris Farley, fat man? Yeah, fat guy in a little coat, fat guy in a little coat. That's exactly what that shit is. Uh, it's funny. All right, sorry about that. Uh, jurisdiction, yeah, okay. Well, we don't. I don't want to get into any of that. Sure. Today, we're just here for 
purposes of this, it's a, a you know a very procedural uh, type of thing today for the arraignment. So you do understand what you got charged with. You do not have to agree with this. This is just an allegation. Um, so you don't need me to read it to you. This I, I don't. Okay, very good. And are you planning on hiring an attorney to represent yourself? I will have a standby attorney for this case. You will have a standby yes. attorney. Okay. Because um, I think that I'm going to win this easy on film, and I wasn't obstructing okay. anybody. All right, Mr. Is Matthew, this the is this the prosecutor, Mar Matthew okay, B. Walker? Let's just let me do my part first, and then we can get into what it is. So, because I need to know, are you proceeding on your own? Do you want to have an attorney? Because I will give you time to talk to an attorney on your own if that's the route that you would like to go. I will have a standby attorney okay. for this case. So, hey, uh, uh, Ram, Ram, uh, pause it for one you. second, buddy. Right there, yeah. See, so he was he was thinking his standby attorney thing was gonna work. And yep. you heard him say, Oh, I'm gonna beat this easy. Yep. So he that that was our contention that he was definitely not expecting him to go to jail yesterday. He thought he was gonna waltz out. So and yeah. and the judge and 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 Middleton uh, Middleton wasn't no Zimmerman. Zimmerman told him, You're not gonna have a standby attorney in my court. Right. You well, either this, represent this... yourself or you have an attorney. Right. This is the arraignment. This is the arraignment oh. for the case that's coming up right. in May first. Right, May first. Yeah. And this was the day before. Yeah. And he just told her, he said, I have the exact same charges I'm facing tomorrow. She was clueless. She didn't know. She goes, Oh, really? Okay. Okay. But my point is playing this is is just how he digs himself in a hole, the way he acts and the way he belittles this judge. <laughs> But, oh, yeah. but here's an even more here's a more interesting point. He did not have an attorney for this arraignment. So me was not representing him for this arraignment, which to me shows he's out of cash. Normally, if you have any kind of attorney representing you, if that attorney, that specific attorney can't show up, they have another attorney show up and make a special appearance for them. No attorney is going to let you make an, a, an appearance by yourself at an arraignment. That means he did not have an attorney on the hook for him at this arraignment, which means and he didn't do his homework to find out they're not going to allow him to have a standby. Yeah. So, so this tells me he's theoretically, in my opinion, based on a career in public safety and having spent quite a while in a courtroom, probably more time in a courtroom than an attorney because they just come in and out. And I sat 40 hours a week in a courtroom uh, defendants don't appear in a courtroom without an attorney if they have an attorney. If you actually have an attorney that you've paid for, you tell the judge, judge, I have an attorney. He's just not here yet. The judge says, okay, sit down. We'll wait till your attorney gets here. They don't let you go through an arraignment unless you have an, if you have an attorney. That's, that's exactly what happened in the case you just said on Zimmerman. I mean, she said, we'll wait on your attorney. Exactly. So so he didn't, so me was not his attorney. He didn't have an attorney for this arraignment, which means he's out of cash. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, or he's just, you know, he's just generally cheap and he he, he thinks he's smarter than he is. But I think yeah, he's, he's um, smarter than everybody else. Well, they, yeah, there, there's that. You, you guys are killing me with the neck jokes, man. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't look good, did he? Um, Navy girl said, I, be I believe he thought he was going to question the officer, but the judge denied his motion a and it took his attorney by surprise. Yeah. We were saying that earlier. I don't think me was really prepared to um, perform the duties he was asked to that day. I think they, they both. Uh, and plus, as we learned from Rico, um, Chili was the reason he was on the phone with me was because me had been waiting in his office for an hour and he was calling Chili to find out what the fuck. And Chili didn't bother to go over to Mee's office, so he he was in the at Rico said he was in a in the courtroom for that whole hour, and they were supposed to go over you know meet at his office an hour before go over strategy. Assuming Mee's office has got to be right around the corner from there, because um, he's got to be dashing off there all the time. So um, yeah, uh, Chili fucked himself up, even with an attorney, you know. Yep. Uh, but here, this clearly shows that he was expecting it to be granted and also that he was ex not expecting to do jail time. So, Oh, and it gets better. Yeah. 
you an opportunity to obtain discovery and for your attorney to find out whatever all is associated with this. Sure. So I can set that over for a pretrial date to give you the opportunity to do that. Would you like to do that? That'd be great. Okay. And then um, what is it that you need to tell me without talking about the facts? Okay. I just need to know if this is the prosecutor's name. Is that the person prosecuting, Matthew B. Walker? Um, that is a good question. I will tell you that the city attorney is Jeffrey Dorapak, and that's the person's name on the upper left-hand corner of the complaint. Um, Matthew Walker is a deputy city attorney who actually prosecutes this case. Depends on the office. I'm going to sue of, him for malicious prosecution. Okay. I'm going to sue everybody involved. I'm going to sue the cops. So I'm going to sue Castro. the county. I appreciate you having a great. Just the arraignment. I got you. I got you. Saying it, it, it all is, these things, we're is, here for is, your misdemeanor case. Sure. Okay. But there's a bigger, there's a bigger issue. There's transparency in the courtroom, which is the best thing that could possibly happen. That's now the right. people get to hear that I'm going to sue Jeffrey and I'm going to sue Matthew okay. and I'm going to sue every one of those So here's what we're cops. not going to do, Mr. DeCastro. This is not going to be a personal pulpit for your, you know, philosophical difference. Yes. You have the media here, and that's fine. This great. is an open court. But I don't want you to start saying things too far extraneous um, for purposes of this misdemeanor charge. Because well, that's what. No, do not interrupt me. Because that, because that's what we're here for. Okay. Uh, so here's the thing. I'm recording everything, and you need to be aware that. There, that's a two-sided thing. You're representing yourself, so I'm having this conversation with you. The, all these statements that you're saying can also potentially be used against you because you're getting recorded. So just so you understand. So here's what we're going to do. I'm does assuming that, you're entering a not guilty plea. Does right? the misdemeanor carry jail time? Possibly, yes. It's possible jail time. So it's so you said a second ago that this is a misdemeanor case as though it's something minor, but I can be put in a dungeon and walked away. Okay. In no way so that's true. did I imply that this was minor okay. in, by, yeah, by saying deal. it is a misdemeanor. It's a big deal. Okay. Okay. Mr. Thanks. Castro, let's not get off on the wrong foot. I have my job to do, and I'm not trying to engage in a conversation that's adversarial with you today. No, I'm not trying to either. Like, I'm not trying, I like you a lot. I think you look like a real nice person. Okay. I got nothing against so you personally. So we're going to end on a not guilty plea Thank on you. your behalf today. Thank you. I'm going to reset this for a pretrial. I do need to understand, because you said you were going to have standby counsel, so are you going to represent yourself primarily, or do you want to have that conversation come back with your attorney? Because there's certain procedural things I'll need to do to protect the due process and your due process. Uh, if you want to go ahead and represent yourself. Right. No, I'm going to have a standby attorney, and that, that has to do with a few different things. But I should probably consult with my attorney before I say anything because it could be used against me. Absolutely. Later. Yeah, that's fine. And I would rather that you protect yourself because we're recording, and that is where I'm coming from in the kind of conversations and comments that I'm making to you today. Sure. So you are obviously entitled to represent yourself. That is your right. But let's do this. Let's get you a pretrial date, um, and that date ordinary course um, for private attorney will be? May 1st at 1.30. May 1st at 1.30? I, I, I think I have. Do you need a different date? I, um, I may. <laughs> I may okay. need a different date because I have a, a different thing in Indiana. I'm just not sure. Can I just look in my phone real of quick course. at my calendar? Here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And, and, you, and Your Honor, I have absolutely nothing against you. I'm not I, in any way I have a serial okay, to you at all. I, 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 I just, you know, yeah. we may be yeah. yeah. case yeah. I have while. nothing against okay. you. I don't know you. You seem like a nice person to me. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't possibly help hold anything against you personally. That is fucking so I'm just creepy. looking for the date that I have in it Indiana. I see lots of cops all around the country. I help go. Cops right. around the country if they violate people's rights. So I have a case in Indiana, but I'm just looking for the date. Yeah, right. And that May 1st? Yes, at 1.30. Can't talk. I'm in court. Wow. The judge is looking at me. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, what a chump. Is it easier if I give you a different date and then you look at that? Well, if it's not, if it's, I'm just not sure if it's May 1st or June 1st. I, I'm just going to go there because we're, we're, I'm assisting with the financing of filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against these cops who arrested this man for filming cops. So I just want to make sure that I'm there when that happens. You know, I think he's it's talking about worse, Henry. So. I'm just, he's texting me back right now. I'll know the date. In one oh, uh, uh, hey, pa anyway. pause it for one second. Uh, um, cause I wanted to clear this up with uh, diamond here. Uh, he, he was sending his love to Rico for his offer to pay 
uh, for Chile to get extradited. So, uh, and your reasoning too, uh, cause he says he suffered from mental illness alone, but lots better now he says, uh, Jose, there's no treatment for, well, um, I'm glad you're, you got treatment, man. And I'm glad you, um, are feeling better. Um, I truly think it would be the best thing for Chile. I mean, whether it takes or not is another story, but, um, yeah, honestly, dude, I know it may sound like a joke in my, in my, um, in my uh videos but i mean it man he really fucking needs help and you know i've had to see a uh, therapist about uh i suffer from ptsd so believe me um yeah i've looked down the barrel of of a couple of shrinks you know um it's useful um as a matter of fact uh if you guys have never heard of uh emdr it's a pretty interesting uh new treatment and i had i had it done um it's sort of uh i don't know if it is worth uh taking time to um explain the whole thing but if you if you're interested it's pretty interesting just look at em emdr it's um basically it disrupts your vision uh while the therapist is talking to you uh the theory being it, it i guess it, nobody knows quite how it works but it kind of disrupts your neural flow somehow and, and allows for some, I, I, when I went through it, I had periods where I started like literally melting <laughs> and it, it's not, there's no drugs involved either. It's just a disruption of your, um, of your equilibrium. And, um, like I said, your, your, your neural input. Um, and it, it was kind of like doing three months of therapy in one session. It was really pretty amazing. So if anybody is feeling like they need, um, like you're, you're really in a bad spot and, uh, you really, you know, need that help, I would encourage you to look into that as a form of therapy, uh, because I had some pretty amazing results with it, you know, and I talked to say, psychiatrists and things like that. And that is helpful. Um, but, uh, this was a pretty, pretty amazing thing. They actually just, it's kind of, I guess, gone a little more mainstream, Recently, uh, my wife watches the Law and Order shows all the time, and they just had a therapist, uh, one of the therapists on the show, using uh, EMDR. So um, it's, it's, but well worth looking into, especially if you're you're not feeling, you could be feeling better. And let, let me add that mm -hmm. that's that's the biggest issue with Chile is he's going around the country dropping stress and aggravation into stressful stressful environments with peace officers where they don't need it he's, he's aggravating you. situations he's inserting himself into these situations thank you intentionally trying to make things worse if, if you don't like cops that's your right I mean, nobody says you, we're not trying to twist people's arms into making you like police officers but he's intentionally trying to bring stress into situations where he a doesn't need to be there and b they're focused on something else he is causing incredibly stressful situations to be worse on the side of the road in the middle of the night where he doesn't need to be there and he's taking that stress level that's an eight or a nine and he's making it a 10 and he's he's dropping these stress bombs wherever he goes and aggravating cops here here very well said again nothing to add to that no very well said I agree yep. with you 1,000%. Um, Joe, Scientology wouldn't have him. They don't really like crazy people. Nope. Uh, as a matter of uh, L. Ron Hubbard was very anti. Yep. Um, you psychiatry. can't, you can't, yeah, you can't, you can't seek treatment if you're a member of Scientology. Yep. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I just, they, uh, they send you to the ranch. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jaco. I'm a woman, you squid. I know. I am a yes. I am a squid, and I apologize. But thank you very much for two bucks. Uh, I guess we finish up the video and call. Yeah, it. and I accidentally, when I hit pause, it pulled it. It pulled it back down. So I'm gonna give me a second to figure out where we were. Yeah. That's our no, that's right. Today. No, I'm not trying to either. I like you a lot. I think you look like a real nice person. Okay. <laughs> I think that, that if is you want it. to go ahead and represent yourself.
Right. No, I'm going to have a standby attorney, and that, that has to do with a few different things. But I should probably consult with my attorney before I say anything because it could be used against me. Absolutely. Later. Yeah, that's fine. And I would rather that you protect yourself because we're recording, and that is where I'm coming from in the kind of conversations and comments that I'm making to you today. Sure. So you are obviously entitled to represent yourself. That is your right. But let's do this. Let's get you a pretrial date. Um, and that date, ordinary course um, for private attorney will be? May 1st at 1.30. May 1st at 1.30? I, I, I think I have. Do you need a different date? No, I, you don't. Um, no, you I don't. may. <laughs> I may okay. need a different date because I have a, a different thing in Indiana. I'm just not sure. Can I just look in my phone real of quick course. at my calendar here? Yeah, I thought we were further than that. And and your and your honor, I have absolutely nothing against you. I'm not in any way adversarial to you okay, at all. I'm glad you I, do that, I, Mr. I just, you know, because we may be yeah, in all this case. Yeah, for I have a while. nothing against okay. you. I don't know you. You seem like a nice person to me. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't possibly help hold anything against you personally. So I'm just looking for the date that I have in Indiana. I see lots of cops all around the country. I help see lots of cops around the country if they violate people's rights. So I have a case in Indiana that I'm just looking for the date. And that May 1st? Yes, Acting it's like an attorney. Can't talk. I'm in Yeah. Court. The judge is looking at me. <laughs> is it easier if I give you a different date and then you look at that? Well, if it's not, if it's, I'm just not sure if it's May 1st or June 1st. I just, I'm just going to go there. Because we're, we're, I'm assisting with the financing of filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against these cops who arrested this man for filming cops. So I just want to make so sure. So you that don't I'm even have a date. She, she know, doesn't care. It's, it's a lot of work. So I'm just, he's texting me back right now. I'll know the date in one second. Okay. I hate, I hate to waste any. I'm, I hate to waste any of these people's time. At all waste time. Yeah. I just want to make sure that, because then we have to reset it again. If it's possible for my attorney to be here and me not to Absolutely. be here. Absolutely. Well, then we can set up for any date that's most okay. convenient for the court. That's fine. You cool. will need to inform your attorney of that date, and okay. then I'm sure they will know to for you. If nobody's there on that day, that would be a problem. That would be a bad thing. Right. <laughs> so you would need to be here if, in fact, this is not your attorney that you're going to hire, because then I need to figure out do you need more time? Or no, I already, have, a, I already have an attorney retained. Okay. So we will keep the May 1st, 1.30 date for your uh, standby attorney to appear for you. And you do not need to appear on that date as long as your lawyer is here. What time is that at, ma'am? 1.30 in the afternoon, and okay. you are in Department 1, May 1st. Department 1 at 1.30. It's set. Okay. Thanks. Oh, okay, then we'll thanks. see you again. I appreciate your attorney your time. on that day or just your attorney, Mr. Dickens. Thank you. Okay. Me too. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, hang on a second. I got something I want to say, Kelly. Sure. You're at, Kelly. You're absolutely right, and that's the sign of somebody a that can't tell the truth or they're just a bullshitter. Kelly said all he had to do is say I can't make that date, but yeah, that's, you'd have, that's you'd not have... that's not in that's not in Chili's DNA. And, no, he has to, everything's a commercial for himself. Yep, yep. You're absolutely yeah. right, Kelly. Yep. Um, sorry about that, Tom. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about. It. He's saying uh, his dad's name was Jose Castro. Uh, Creeper Smirch is his name. Yeah, I'd love to see him get his. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, Office Space when the the guy uh, Michael Bolton, the guy in the office that was named yeah. Michael Bolton, <laughs> sucks having a shit. Yeah, but I'm I'm sure your dad's a. Wonderful guy. Um, thanks for the five bucks. And Hema says uh, stress testing rights is bullshit. Yeah, I mean, you know, my point about all that is who fucking cares, man? I mean, there's bigger things to worry about than whether or not you can fucking film at a post office. None of this is really about that. I would say very little of it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a way to make money. You know, yeah. it's a con. Yeah. It is just a scam, but yep. yeah, I mean, yeah. And I mean, it could all, it could all end tomorrow. It could all end tomorrow. If oh we, shit. If, if YouTube just dropped the ball on it and say no more of this shit, it, it'll all be over with. 
Hey, did we lose uh, Rico? Did he? Uh... I don't know. I can't see the screen because I have Shit. so many browsers open. Um, um, well, he's not on with us anymore, so I don't. Yeah, I don't see uh, it. There. Can you check backstage and see that he's? Oh, here he is. Okay, never mind. I got him. All right, hey buddy. Sorry you dropped out. Um, everything good? Yeah, my audio was messed up and then it dropped out. Sorry. Oh, okay, got you. No problem. Um, yeah. Well, uh, guys, I, um, yeah, I, we've been going for like three hours and yep. 15 minutes. That's pretty amazing. And I could not have asked for a better experience, uh, from my co-host there. If you guys aren't sub to Ram already, please sub to him. He just, uh, passed the 3000 subscriber mark. So good job, buddy. He puts out a lot of fun little videos and, um, Rico, man, uh, Bring in the fire. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, thank you, man. It was good to meet you. Yeah. My pleasure. Uh, My you're pleasure. very, very generous to sit here uh, this, this entire time and lend us your uh, uh, unique insight, sir. So many thanks indeed. And um, we'll keep... Uh, obviously uh sharing information <laughs> and my and my my tip to you rico on retirement yeah my semi retirement took place during covid stay know. active yeah <laughs> i yeah. blew up my weight went crap I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real tall guy always been fit and trim and yeah. my weight just got to of course i had some illness problems too but my weight got totally out of control because i didn't prepare myself for not being as active so be prepared mm. <laughs> be active stay active work out <laughs> yeah i wonder if chili will try his fasting routine now that he's uh in jail this would seem to be a good time to to do that speaking of weight loss um but yeah rico thank you very much uh for being here buddy thank everybody for being here like i said i i'm my my mind is blown that you all showed up this many of you and uh it's a good group, man. I have to tell you, um, I feel uh, I feel real good about myself right now. Good deal. So thank you all for being here, and let's uh, try and make uh, the live streams a little more regular. Um, I do have a couple interesting ideas, and like I said, as a thank you, uh, I'm gonna stay up all night, and I'll uh, do a, a what'll hopefully be the last chili video for a while, but. Uh, I'll do my take on it if you guys uh just as a uh, thanks to to, to y'all i want to say thank you for your work you're very creative and uh, it's energizing every time i see a notification that you're putting out a video i really enjoy it oh well cool man i aims to please all right and, we'll talk uh, to you talk to you yeah, guys later i'm gonna i'm gonna dip and get something to eat yeah uh, thank right, you again rico. rico thank you man all, All right, right, buddy. Talk to you guys later. All right. Have good. a great night. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, that, glad you guys were all here to, to share all that. That was, uh, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty special. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, um, I'm looking forward to not making any more chili videos for a while of any, but who knows with this guy, who knows what, what will pop up. Like I said, uh, is that right? L I A. Wait a minute. Victoria is is um, is he in jail? Or those question marks? Oh, you're asking. Okay. Oh, L I A. I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah she's asking someone else. Apparently, someone. Oh, gotcha. I wasn't watching the chat. Uh, you never know with L I A. He's he's says now L I A in jail, and then yeah, Victoria's asking. Oh shit! That's Stevie. Uh, yeah. I met. I don't think Rico has a channel. To be honest, I meant to ask him, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a channel. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me post to uh, Ram's uh, Ram's channel. Uh, and um, again, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for putting up yeah. with my sort of uh, technical I'm trying to get better with it. Got over it quick. Yeah, this is only the second. Uh, um, Second night on the job for me. You're doing this, so the chat does that, does that show up as a link there? I just posted it. I don't know if it shows up as a link. It should I don't see why I shouldn't, unless I have to make myself 
no, moderator or something? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Cool guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, man. Uh yeah, just thanks. I don't know what else to say. This is pretty amazing. And uh uh yeah, even if I'm not making any chilly videos, uh we'll definitely keep tabs on them and if anything interesting happens, uh uh you know in the Clark County clink. Um, but other than that, uh, I do have some other videos, uh, non Kaiser and Chile related. Um, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, 178 days. That's right. Big work. Um, and I guess, well, I guess we'll be covering it around May 1st cause that's when his next, uh, hearing is. So, so we're, um, awesome guys. Thanks again. And, uh, thanks Ron. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Oh, that's right. Yes, uh, uh, Ram, we do a live stream on Tuesday. I see you the Ram channel. So, all right, guys, take care. And all I'll right. put, that, put that video out for you in the morning, hopefully, or by the late afternoon. We'll see you all Tuesday night. Yep. See you guys. Thank you.